Hello and welcome beautiful stars. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope you all are doing really well. Happy Halloween to those of you who celebrate. Today's reading is going to be divided into three parts. The first part is a reading about your person, the person on your heart and mind. What is their hidden truth? What is left unsaid between you? It's Scorpio season right now at the time I'm filming this, so we are going to be digging for the truth. You could watch this reading for someone you're in a relationship with or someone you would like to be in a relationship with, maybe someone you were in a relationship with, or you're welcome to watch for platonic connections as well. Just disregard anything that wouldn't apply to your situation, of course. The second part of today's reading will be an advice reading for you with a cute Halloween spread I found through Google. I'll be sure to credit the author in the description below. And the third part of today's reading will be loving messages from deceased loved ones. This was a topic that was requested recently recently and I decided to include it on today's reading since Halloween is the traditional time of the year to connect to the other side and honor those who have gone before us. All the readings today are meant to be timeless so they're good whenever you're finding this video and you have four options to choose from today. Go with whichever one calls to you the most. All three sections will be split out into timestamps for each selection, so you are welcome to mix and match or watch only the sec sections you're interested in today. You're welcome to choose a different option for each section, or you can choose one option and watch it all the way through. You decide what works best for you, so here are your four options to choose from. Number one, we have the Quartz Orb with the ballet shoes card. Number two, we have this pair of glass pumpkins with the fortress card. And number three, we have the frog with the emerald card. And number four, we have the quartz point with the Person of Air card. All right, so let me just straighten these back out a little bit. Not perfect, but close enough. All right, um, so I'll give you guys some time to pause the video if you would like to take your time choosing, and then I will see you at your reading. The timestamps are below in the description and pinned comment. Thank you very much. Hello there, number one. Those of you who chose the ballet shoes card with the quartz orb, I hope you guys are doing really well. So let's see what's going on with your person, person on your heart and mind. What is their hidden truth in this connection with you? First, we'll get some overall cards on their energy in this connection, how they're feeling about you and this connection. And then we will move on into details about their hidden truth. Please do keep in mind this is a reading for many people at once, so just take what you feel is for you and feel free to leave behind anything that feels wrong for you, doesn't make sense for you. It's likely a message for someone else, no big deal, but hopefully most of the reading will resonate with you. This is the trick or treat tarot, by the way, that we'll be using here. All right, so number one's person. What's their overall energy in this connection with you, number one? We have the Ace of Swords coming out first. With the Ten of Cups. Justice. With the Hermit. And the World, wow. Maybe this person's been her in hermit mode for a while. I feel like they're wanting to like come out and be more of a part of this connection with you again with this justice, eight of wands on the bottom of the deck. I feel like this person's really been feeling like they've been missing out a lot on life lately. They've been missing out on your love. I feel like they've been like missing this connection with you, whether you guys are together or not. Um, I feel like they, they're wanting to spend more time with you. I feel like they're really wanting to be seen with you more with this world card here as well. Um, or they feel very complete about something. If there was like unfinished business between you two, I feel like they feel okay with how things are between you two or they, they feel very confident that things can work out. 
that they can make things right. Three major arcana here. So this person really feels like you do play or you have played a major role in their life, that's for sure. So I feel like you're really coming into focus a lot in their life lately. All right, let's get some more oracle cards for context here, more context. All right, so we have new beginnings. Um, you're ready for a new beginning and a fresh start. Yeah, I, I was just getting like this person wants to like come out of the closet or something. All right, maybe, yeah, maybe they want their love for you to be known. Um, maybe it's been a secret, you guys, for a while. Maybe you guys have had like a, you know, private relationship where you weren't letting other people know. I feel like this person wants to have this fresh start with you or like have a recommitment. Uh, maybe a few of you guys are married to this person. They want to like have a vow, vow renewal or they want to get married for the first time with you. Okay, and then we have cauldron, synergy, and healing. So I do feel like this person has um, really come to the end of some kind of healing cycle. Like they, they successfully completed some kind of healing. So what is successfully completing in this person's life? I feel like something about this connection with you, they are really noticing that it has helped them. They come to terms with something in their life. I feel like they're really understanding more of the truth about themselves and this connection with you. They're really seeing you more for who you are. Eight of Swords reversed. Okay, so that's good. I feel like this person might um, deal with a lot of anxiety or just a lot of stress around what do other people think. And I feel that there has been something about your energy, your touch in their life that has helped them to start releasing some of those fears around what others are thinking about them or just like their inability to make something happen. I feel like you've given this person a lot more confidence Right. You've been, no matter what the connection is like here for you guys, you've been a wonderful influence on this person and I feel like you have really helped catalyze them to a much happier, more well-rounded place, I feel. Okay, wow, and speaking of like them improving themselves, we have the Nautilus prin Princess coming out here, powerful personal growth. So I feel like both of you guys have really... Um, like triggered a lot of uh, healing or progress in each other's lives. So, wow. Again, I'm just impressed by just how much you guys have helped to catapult each other forward in life. All right, what else? And then we have the high priestess, high priest responsibility. All right, so with justice here I, in the world, I feel like this person is really wanting to maybe take more responsibility for their actions in this connection, their words. Maybe um, with the Ace of Swords here, I feel like maybe they're wanting to come forward and speak up more about how they can be a better partner to you, be a better person to you. Um, just, I feel like maybe, yeah, there's been like a growing up that's going on with them because I feel a, they've been shedding a lot of their immaturity or just or doubts or fears about this connection maybe not working or just something or other just them not being able to overcome it I feel like they are finally feeling really victorious and like they can conquer the world with you I'm feeling so there's just like this whole new start going on here for both of you I feel like you both whatever this situation is surrounding you guys I feel you're both really trying to do the right thing here and trying to act from a place of what is best for the other person. Here's letting go, trusting, allowing. So we have three major arcana here. So I really feel like this person is trying to really surrender this connection to the divine to be like, okay, we'll do our part here and then what will be, will be. So I'm getting like this person has really not been wanting to like force the connection with you. I'm seeing them really wanting to let things flow and build something beautiful over the over time. I feel like this person doesn't want to do anything to rock the boat on like messing up the happiness between you two with this Ten of Cups here, the happiness they feel with you. Um, they, I also see if you guys have been together for a really long time, I feel like this person um, is really starting to see just how full you make their heart and just how fulfilled and happy they are with you. This might be something that they let some of the worries and fears of daily life get in the way and they were blinded to just how much happiness 
they that you bring to them so I feel like there is this newfound appreciation for you here that wasn't maybe wasn't there before like it wasn't apparent to them so they might even be communicating to you a bit more just about how they can be a better person to you a better partner whatever your relationship is friend if you guys are just friends okay so let's see what is their hidden truth what are they not saying what are we allowed to see about what they're not saying here? What is their hidden truth in this connection with you, number one? Okay, first out we have the Two of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles. Getting out right away, I'm seeing that this person hasn't really told you just how much that they have been undecided on this connection, how much that they feel they've been at war with maybe two sides of themselves, like two separate desires, one desire just wanting to maybe do their own thing, live their own life, just do whatever they want, whenever they want. And the other side of them has really wanted to grow up into this really responsible partner, someone who can, who is just always there for others. Six of Pentacles. So I feel like it. this person, so much of them really wants to contribute and uh, really give as much as they can to this connection and be that equal partner for you. It's something that haunts them because I feel like maybe they, they haven't um, been quite an equal for you. Um, maybe at first they were and then maybe it got something kind of went downhill I feel like they want to get back to a better place with you they want this new beginning here and here's the nine of swords yeah I was getting from the six of pentacles just the mood of the card was very haunting so I was feeling like they're haunted by just how much they haven't been able to contribute to you maybe even financially maybe they want to be able to provide more financially for you as well um, there could be a lot of guilt here that they feel I feel like there's a lot of guilt with this like indecision the stalemate on this connection and uh, it's interesting because they're like now there's clarity so something really pushed them into getting clear on this connection and deciding that they want this maybe it's something you said to them or you did maybe um, or there was something that just like interrupted the connection somehow and I feel like it caused this reset and uh, this ability for them to get clarity so it could have been like a tower moment thing they could have had like some kind of um, crisis situation in their life you know something along the lines of a car accident or something that really just jolted them into just seeing how much you mean to them and just how it reminded them of just who and what means the most in their life and I feel like they want to be responsible with their time queen of wands all right so let's see hidden truth here nine of swords queen of wands okay i also see that they have a lot of fear around losing you um because they they feel that you are really amazing with uh, with this queen of wands card here i feel like this could represent you and did we have the empress no i don't think we have the empress um, but I feel like the Empress could be here as well, where this person knows you have a lot going for you, that you are just really um, a, a wonderful catch. And they are starting to really feel that they could lose you if they don't step things up, if they don't step up their game here. Okay, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, they, they really do notice how... I feel like they're clearly seeing just how much they would be lacking in their life if you weren't there. Or maybe you haven't been there and they're, and they're really noticing that. Okay, let's get some um, message cards on more of their hidden truths here. Okay, you're always on my mind. I, I get that with the Nine of Swords here and the Two of Swords, Ace of Swords. So this person does not tell you just how much they think of you. Actually, I wanted to get a few more Oracle cards also on their hidden truth. Okay, this card's flipping out here. Happening soon. Um, the situation or event in question will develop or unfold very soon. With optical illusion, not what it seems. So they might be revealing more of their hidden feelings, their hidden thoughts very soon, you guys. Um, and... I feel like you're going to be very surprised by just how well they're able to 
give a different impression on the outside of what's really going on underneath the surface. Because with the Two of Swords, Ace of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Swords, um, this person is heavily thinking about you and this connection here. Um, I feel like they are a little nervous about just how attracted they are to you as well. Like, I just feel there, there could be a lot of... Uh, they feel you could really just kind of control them in a way with just how much they are, they feel desire for you. Okay, and then here is Dear John. We have rejection, cold, hard truth, set boundaries, something's not working. So what is going on with this? I just feel like they want to come out with the full truth with you. They just want everything out on the table. Okay, Ace of Wands. I feel that they want to maybe burn bridges or something with uh, someone or something from their past that has been holding them back in this connection. Something is triggering them to realize that they have maybe been living a lie in some way, you know, really feeling like they're not um, the person that they want to be in this life. So I feel like they're taking major steps to grow into the person they want to be. And I feel like for many of you, this includes being a responsible partner to you. Let's see what else we got here. And we have, I'm really sorry for all the mistakes and dishonesty. Please forgive me. I don't want to hurt you ever again. So I did feel we had a lot of clean and fresh start cards coming out for the overall cards. It was very, um, what the word, what's the word for it? Um, coherent, I feel. So I, I do feel that this person is really like changing, growing up in a way and wanting to make things right in whatever way that will work out for both of you. Okay, one more card on their hidden truth in this connection with you. Okay, we have breaking free, detachment, forgiveness, independence, life path, and journey. So I feel like this person also hasn't been showing you just how much maybe like inner work and self-reflection that they have been doing and how hard it has been that for them to break away from society's mold or from what their maybe what their family expected them to be, expected what their life would be. So I feel like they're just not really living their most authentic life right now. And I feel like you came into their life and really helped to show them this. Maybe you either actually pointed it out or just something about the connection just really gave them some kind of energetic transformation and uh, like the eyes to see just they weren't where they really wanted to be in life. So I'm getting like they're wanting to like break up with their past somehow or they're wanting to break up with their past self and they're saying like please forgive me I'm transforming into a better version that a version that actually feels deserving of you and your love because they really feel like the person they were was not very deserving of you and everything you had to offer. Okay, saying goodbye to you was the hardest thing I ever had to do, but it was the only thing to do that felt right at that time. So maybe that was the way they were trying to be responsible. Um, I just couldn't give you what you need. So I do feel it's still on this person's mind, figuring out um, how, how can they make both of you happy here? How can there be justice and balance in this connection? All right. So let's see, what is blocking them? Is anything blocking them in this connection here? What's their main block? What blocks them from talking more to you about this sometimes? Here's the sun. And we have black flower fragrance. Okay, so I am getting influence um, from others here. I do feel that this person, uh, for a few of you, I feel like this person might be responsible for a lot of others right now. And um, especially if they have children, like the first thing I thought when we got the sun card out was like an actual sun, like S-O-N. So maybe um, they have responsibilities, um, heavy responsibilities on them, either to uh, family or to their job or something. And I feel... 
that they are not, again, they're not living their happiest life right now. This black flower fragrance, I feel, is them just kind of um, living in an environment that does not bring life to their soul. I feel like they've gotten kind of like stuck in this. They've gotten used to accepting like less than their happiness and just going on, just trying to keep the peace, trying to keep the balance where they are. I feel like they don't like rocking the boat wherever their situation is in life right now. I don't feel like this is a super hard block with them because I feel that they are getting a lot of mental, mental clarity here. I feel you're still on their mind a lot. They want to work things out with you. They want to do the right thing with you. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Let's get some more details on anything else about their hidden truth, what's going on with them. Okay, we have dream big, vision, making plans, fantasizing. With taking, so we have some um, financial imbalance here again coming up. I feel like this person is really trying to catapult themselves a lot higher than where they are right now. I feel like they're really making great strides towards maybe making more money or having more career success, just becoming someone who can take on more responsibility and live a more balanced life. And then we have burned. So that's the second time something about burning is coming through because I, I saw them like burning a letter or something. So that could be literally or metaphorically destroyed, damaged, reduced to ashes. Um, I do feel like this person could be very burnt out by especially their job or anyone who just takes from them without giving anything back. I feel like there's a lot of influences in their life that are just draining them. And I feel like one thing you've really done for this person is to help them dream and envision a life that truly works for them so they don't feel so trapped and so stuck. So I'm getting like you guys have given maybe given this person some excellent advice. So I feel like you, you've almost been like the spiritual advisor to this person in a way. Okay. You help this person start dreaming again. So I feel like their soul really thanks you for that. Here's reach out, ace of swords. So I'm getting like this person, if you guys aren't talking much, they could be dreaming of reaching out to you, really thinking about that, thinking about what they could say to you. This could also be advice to you to maybe reach out to this person. They could be very receptive to it if that's something you want to do. If you guys are in pretty regular contact or you're together, this could mean um, maybe to uh, reach, reach out further to them in terms of getting them to talk more about their dreams, getting getting in deeper with them. Here's I can't even look at you right now. And what do you want? Okay, so it looks like this person might feel some kind of shame or guilt about maybe how things ended, if there's just a breakup or if there was an argument um, or just something they, they feel kind of shame, like ashamed or some kind of uh, self low self-esteem around Maybe especially a financial situation or just something where they feel like they weren't living their best life, being their best self. Let's clarify this. What do you want here? Also, I'm feeling like there could be a lot of guilt or regret around maybe not doing enough to check in on your needs. So this is another way that they are maturing. Oop, this card is popping out. We have the moon. So you've been a real mystery to this person. I feel that they, they, they really feel that there's so much unresolved and a lot of unfinished business between you two. Um, but yeah, I, I get this person just has immense happiness when they think of you. So there's like part of them, it feels maybe guilty that they haven't been able to do more for you, haven't been able to be there more for you. And the other part of them is just really living in this um, really beautiful feelings about the connection. And I feel that they, I feel like they dream about it a lot. There's a lot of daydreaming going on. Okay. I feel at first they wanted to have their cake and eat it too, you know, where they just like had things on their terms and they're really realizing that that's not a good way to go about living their life. They're learning to be a more um, balanced partner in a relationship rather than just doing things for themselves and their goals. All right, let's get some tea leaf cards out here. Okay, we have July coming out. 
So something could really shift in July or uh, there could be an important date in July, birthday, anniversary. We have grasshopper situations in the balance that require careful handling. So they could really be seeing that they need to maybe tread carefully with you. Um, that could be why they haven't really just opened up about all of this because they don't want to upset any balance that you two do have together. And then we have broken bridge. I think that already came through something about um, burning a bridge, maybe unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Yeah, I really feel that they might be burning, maybe burning some kind of bridges in July, maybe like leaving a job or something or leaving uh, someone behind in their life that just hasn't been good in their life. Okay, um, I also see them. Maybe there has been a lot of obstacles between you two. This could be a broken bridge between you two. And I see them being, having this huge optimism to them that we can just overcome it. We can, we can do this. I see, I'm seeing them being like the grasshopper, like just leaping over this broken bridge. So maybe it's like kind of naive on their part or something, but almost like magical thinking or something. But I feel like this person is still pretty down to earth. They still just have a lot of like daydreams and fantasies about their perfect world um, with you. All right, let's get a few more cards out. What else is going on with this person? All right, we have the owl. There are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition. The owl, the plane. Journey is indicated either physically or metaphorically. Your life will become more full. And then we have cancer coming out here as well. Um, emotional, sensitive, caring, and loving. It may concern family, a mother, or a child. All right. So, yeah, I do see that family concerns could be an issue for this person right now. I do see that this person is is a family person. Uh, family really matters to them. So I'm seeing like maybe they could be focused on that right now. Or I, I see that some of them could be very focused on your safety, your security. If you guys are long distance, they might be wanting to travel to you very soon. Uh, we have this like happening now card or happening soon card. So they might be traveling towards you or wanting to travel with you to try to just maybe have a very deep, wise, intelligent conversation with you. I feel like they want to share a lot more of what has been coming up for them. So whether you guys are long distance or not, I feel like they want to like travel to you and meet in person. And I just feel like they really want to give you like a really warm hug. I feel that they want to just make sure you're emotionally safe and secure. And yeah, so I feel like your emotions are really coming up for them lately. Just wanting to be sure you're okay. They might even want to bring you some food. All right, so let's get some advice for you in this connection. Is there any advice for you? Number one. We have the Five of Pentacles. With true love. It says this love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. Getting to know each other. Okay, so as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. All right, number one, I feel like there is a lot of potential for growth in this connection here with the five of pentacles. It looks like maybe you feel you've lost this person, but I feel like there is still true love here. Um, it could be that you guys are just going to take a long time to really figure out how things will work for each of you together. But if there's true love on both sides, you guys can overcome and you can work things out. Um, it's just a matter of some practical details here. Um, anything else about this Five of Pentacles? Here's the Seven of Swords. I do want to say here that the Five of Pentacles here, um, if you feel very like rejected out in the cold with this person, true love will not leave you like that, number one. So I also want to give the message for anyone who's watching for someone who really has just like maybe ghosted you like for no reason that you know of and has just um, not shown you true love. I feel like it is time for you guys to just let yourselves heal and um, be with someone who will not just leave you behind and abandon you because true love will not do that. That is not true love. True love cares. And, you know, there's that really wonderful 
um, verse about love is patient, love is kind. I feel like that's a really good definition of love. You can look it up if you want to. Um, so, but I feel like if you guys really feel like there is true love here on both sides, I feel like for most of you, the advice is just keep working on, uh, working out things with each other. Keep having good, deep conversations with one another. Keep really getting to know one another's like deepest visions and desires and get to know everything about each other. And I feel like there's, there's a way to make this work. Okay. So let's just get some more message cards and we'll move on to the next section of this reading. So what else here? We have, I have never opened myself up to anyone before like I have with you. You are the light in my darkness. Keep shining bright so I can come back home. I know that this is a once in a lifetime love. No one will ever compare to you. Let me get another deck here. Um, we have, I, I've hurt you because it was easier for me for you to hate me than to tell you the truth. Okay, Ace of Swords is indicating I feel like this person wants to speak up about something to you. Come out with the truth. True love is the most powerful magic of all. I know in my heart that our love will conquer any storm. And I'm really afraid that you don't love me the way that I love you. Or maybe they're afraid they've lost your love. And I'm afraid of going all in with you and then losing myself in this relationship. Fear is holding me back. Let me get the other deck. Where did it go? Let's pause this. Okay, and I miss you. I don't know what to do. It's almost like this person is looking for a word of advice from you. And I have a lot on my plate. And on the bottom of the deck, I want to see you. All right, number one, I hope this was helpful for you. I'm going to go into the special Halloween reading now. Get some advice for you so you can keep watching here. You can skip to another section of the video, another number another section, whatever you would like. All right, number one, we're going to do a little reading on you now, a little Halloween themed reading, but this is good for whenever you're finding it. it doesn't have to be on Halloween. So let's look at the spread here. This is the Halloween tarot, by the way. So the first card is your costume. Who do you really want to be deep down? What, de um, what desire wants to be expressed? So who do you really want to be deep down? What is your costume? We have the Knight of Bats or Swords. So, wow, I feel like you really want to be someone who can speak their mind and not worry about what others are thinking. Um, I feel like you guys really want to be like a warrior or just someone on a mission deep down who can just get things done and no regrets, no worries. Um, I feel like you also um, are someone who wants to have mental order and be very organized and meticulous, almost like you guys... Um, are drawn to being some kind of like scientist or programmer, something where you really intensely use your mind or you're just very good with words, very quick witted, maybe funny. So I, I'm seeing you guys really want to put on the costume of someone who is just kind of like cool and calm and really with it, almost like a James Bond kind of thing. Someone who could like win over people with words, someone who's witty and intellectually sharp. Okay. And, and someone who like really can stand up for themselves. Doesn't have a problem speaking their truth very quickly and bluntly. All right, so we're gonna look at a trick. What has you fooled or what is tricky for you right now? What is something that's fooling you? We have the page of ghosts or cups. I feel like you guys might be very easily, um, very easily fooled by someone who like maybe is love bombing you or just, um, someone who is like 
giving you compliments or something like that. Or I, I feel like um, maybe you guys usually assume the best that people have the best intentions. That could be something that really easily fools you because I feel like you guys have really good intentions. So you don't, it's harder for you guys to see that maybe not everyone out there has the best of intentions. Okay, what about a treat? Where is the gift? What is something good coming into your life? Oh, you got two cards coming out. Five of imps or wands with the four of pumpkins or pentacles. This card is wanting to come out too, I think. And six of pumpkins or pentacles. I feel like something you've been battling with for a long time, maybe something you've been trying to plant seeds for and have been really working hard for, I feel like it's going to be um, paying off for you very soon uh, with the six of pumpkins or pentacles. I, I feel that there could be just some kind of a material gift coming into your life as well. Um, I'm almost feeling like this could even be a raise at work because I feel that someone has really seen you like putting your best effort in and struggling and doing a lot of um, like going up above and beyond a lot. And I'm also seeing here with this four of pentacles, I'm seeing that um, maybe you guys have been trying to be really wise with your money and I'm seeing that that's really going to start paying off for you as well. So some kind of financial blessing or financial up leveling, up leveling is coming into your life or some kind of like really lovely gift is coming into your life. All right, then we have sour and sweet. So for sour, what are you holding on to and need to let go of? We have the sun. All right, so what are you holding on to that might help you to let go of? Maybe there's something that you think makes you happy, but it's actually bringing you down more like it's bringing more pain and suffering into your life than it is bringing pleasure into your life and happiness, true happiness. So I'm sure something is coming to mind when I'm saying that that could be that could be a relationship or a person in your life or this could be like your relationship with maybe some kind of um, junk food or just some kind of habit like um, like some kind of overindulgence where it brings some kind of happiness, but it, overall it's bringing more pain and suffering to your life than it is actual good happiness for you. So whatever comes to mind for that. Okay, and sweet. What can you embrace more of, do more of to bring true happiness into your life? Wow, okay, I think it, that card wanted to come out. The magician. So I feel like you guys making your own plans, acting on your own plans, um, feeling confidence and being able to create your world, to create your, um, to improve your circumstances. I feel more of that in your life can will actually bring more genuine, lasting, like fulfillment and happiness. Developing your talents or any like a talent or talents. Becoming more skilled with uh, your words or a certain language. Because I see you guys have that desire deep down to be an excellent, quick communicator. And this could be someone who is multilingual. So maybe learning some new languages, three of imps or wands, and definitely taking the opportunity to see some more places and meet some different people. We have Gemini here. So I'm getting like just immersing yourself in any kind of learning about any kind of topic that sparks your interest will bring a lot more happiness and a lot more opportunities for success in your, and abundance into your life as well. All right, I'm gonna get you guys some Oracle cards as well just to close out this part of the reading. So one more from the Halloween Oracle here. We have um, Barmbrack. <laughs> it's like pumpkin bread or something. Some kind of delicious baked good. Sweetness and synergy. Let's see, I have a few more decks here as well. I feel like you guys are right on the verge of just like hitting the sweet spot in your life. Where just everything is functioning and flowing very well. And then we have that death will come. We have mortal, finite, and fragile on here as keywords. So I feel like this is saying um, to find find the sweet spot in life. Strike the balance between indulging in what you feel is very you know hap makes brings a lot of joy into your life, and also um, between working hard on the goals that you know you want to accomplish in your lifetime. So I feel like one exercise for you guys to do is to Think about like if if you could go fast forward to the end of your life and you're thinking back on your life, what would you regret not doing in this lifetime? And make sure you're giving 
more time to that. And maybe it's just simple things. It doesn't have to be like some big, huge accomplishment. If uh, you feel like that's not something you would regret, maybe you guys have been um, chasing after things that wouldn't truly make you happy. Um, so take that if it resonates for you, of course. So I just feel like there's an important message of making sure you spend more time on the things that truly matter to you in this lifetime in every moment. So make, making sure that your the way you spend your time really truly aligns with your deepest values. So maybe doing some kind of values assessment would help you as well. Because I do see that you guys have a lot of different interests. Maybe you don't know what to do at any given time. And I feel like maybe that is part of the fun here for you is just indulging in a lot of different interests. Um, you don't have to pick one thing and stick to it. Some people can do that and that's that's what they love, but I feel like it's okay if you guys just wanna do a little bit of everything. You don't necessarily have to be a master of one thing. And then we have Darkness Falls. Um, within you live the hidden, the things that want nothing more than to swallow you whole. So yeah, I see maybe some of you guys have been really dealing with maybe some dark thoughts or just some um, depression maybe even really dwelling on just the difficult stuff in life. And so this like sweet card coming through is to encourage you to spend some more time on the sweet things in life. Bring some more sweetness into your life. And so that could be like literally with um, like maybe baking like something for yourself, or this could mean maybe spending more time with uh, children or animals that you love. Um, just or whatever you find sweet and comforting movies books bring more of that into your life because um, I feel like if sometimes you can go too far down a negative rabbit hole and it's just important it's important to balance things out here because it is hard um, to live on this planet sometimes okay and then we have dark moon um, in the dark of your heart lives new breath waiting for you to release its ghost so you guys do have new life available for you for sure See what other messages do we have for you? And then we have otter. Oop. <laughs> otter, dexterity. So that totally makes sense for you guys. Dexterity comes up. I feel like you guys are multi talented, very flexible people who maybe I feel like that could be something bothering you that you're not sure which path to take because you see that you have potential in so many different things. And I just feel like, um, you guys can be happy in a numerous different paths. So it's just, you got to just pick a path and make the most of it. You can always change your mind later and choose a different path. I feel like this card is also encouraging you to continue developing your various skills and talents because that will help you increase your opportunities for growth in this lifetime. And I feel like it will also help, um, give you something that will give you a boost out of any dark times, dark thoughts that you've been dealing with. Okay, and then we have a fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries. All right, so let me get one more clarification card here, but I feel that you guys are really going to be finding your passion here. And, um, I've also heard that some people, maybe they're kind of born with a passion that they're going after. And maybe you guys are confused because you don't have like that one burning desire, that one passion. And I've heard the advice too, that passions are built over time um, by continuing to put energy into something and study something and practice something. Um, you start to develop a passion for it. So it's okay if you don't have some amazing passion right away. And here is the Hierophant. I'm seeing that maybe some kind of like traditional path of learning um, could really help spark some kind of um, excitement in you or get you some kind of inspiration on what to do with your life. And then we have the two of bats or swords. I'm also seeing like having a conversation with maybe someone you feel is wiser than you, getting some advice on what they think you're 
strengths are. I feel like that could help give you some clarity on where you could have a lot of success in this lifetime because I feel like you guys really do have a lot of firepower, a lot of amazing creative energy and ideas that you can bring into this world. And I feel like the big message is don't get down on yourself. You still have a lot of energy. You still have a lot of passion. You still have a lot that you can share with others. Maybe you guys are just going through like a lower energy time right now. And I do see that improving for you. You're not going to be stuck there forever. So this is just a cycle that you are working through and are going to be completing. Um, so this is just a season in your life that is going to be changing. I feel like maybe this one's been a little bit more down, maybe more depressing, but I, I do see more excitement coming into your life here. Um, and I feel like this will just be facilitated by you making a decision about um, something you would like to start studying and getting like deeply interested in, practicing it, um, talking with others with. You could even start teaching it as you are learning about whatever it is you want to study. Um, I'm seeing like people could really be drawn to you. I feel that you have a very wise way about you and very witty way with words as well that is waiting to come out. Um, and I feel like people will be very fascinated by you teaching whatever it is you want to teach, whatever it is you're interested in. All right. I hope this made sense to you, number one. I hope this helped you. I'm going to move on to the third section of this reading today, which is a look at loving messages from deceased loved ones. So you guys can keep watching here if you feel drawn to be watching here, or you can choose another um, reading, another timestamp if you would like to. All right. Thank you, number one. All right, number one, let's look at loving messages from any deceased loved ones that would like to come through for you. So we're just going to kind of free flow through here. I have some various decks. Okay, let's get some tarot cards first for number one's loved ones on the other side who want to come through. What do they want to say to number one? Here's the star coming out first. We have the Seven of Swords. First thing coming through is I feel like this person just wants to give you a big hug. They want to comfort you. We have the Nine of Wands. I do feel like this could have been someone who was um, maybe kind of guarded in their affections with you in the physical. Like maybe they didn't quite often express their love um, as often as uh, they would have liked to. And here's the Page of Cups. So I feel like that is a primary message coming through here that this person really wants to maybe apologize to you for, for not being more like openly affectionate and loving with you. But the love was always there. It was just, I feel like this person had really gone through a lot of... Um, really difficult times that maybe you didn't get to see like their their full history. I feel like maybe they never opened up to you about their full history and this gave them a hard time with really expressing fully expressing love here and here is temperance. So I feel like this person also wants to convey to you that you have a bright future ahead of you and I feel like they want to be there as like kind of like an angelic helper to you to encourage you to to go after your dreams. I feel like they just want you to be happy, at peace. Um, five of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So I, I feel like they want to maybe help relieve some of your stress. They want to be sure that you aren't running yourself ragged. They're like, you deserve peace. You deserve rest. So I'm not getting like a specific person just yet coming through. Because I feel like um, I feel like for a lot of you, this could be like a father, father figure, but it does not have to be. Okay, and then we have the swan here, love, beauty, intensity. And for some of you, I do see that this could be someone that maybe you had a beautiful soul connection with that didn't quite, um, wasn't quite fully fulfilled in this, uh, in this lifetime at least. I'm also seeing um, this person could be helping you find true love here, whether that's in a like romantic couple or that's just um, maybe they're, they're wanting to bring like an animal into your life to help comfort you or just um, some kind of just someone who will come in and give you that hug for them is what I'm seeing here and comfort you. I feel like this person really just wants you to be at peace and comforted 
And then we have Aries. I am. Interesting. So this person could be Aries. But I, I do see also that they are really like giving you like a boost of confidence to go for your dreams. They're like, you have so much to be confident about. They really see your, your star potential. And I feel like they maybe didn't tell you this enough. Okay, here's as a soul, I can be in several places at once. And it is not your fault. So yeah, I feel like that's a big message. It is not your fault that they were the way they were. If they were more closed off with you, more shut down, if they weren't able to be honest with their feelings, straightforward with their affections, or like that was not your fault. That was my own thing. Um, they have been able to examine um, what they went through in this lifetime on the other side. I feel like this is saying they, they do check up on you and others that um, they have loving uh, connection with as well quite often and there is no time where I am time is only on the earth so it's almost like they're wanting to just teach you more about what their experience is on the other side now because they're like this whole new world has opened to me this might especially be someone who wasn't super spiritual when they were here on earth and um it's almost like maybe like they had anger or issues or like their temper really got to them. And I just feel they're like above all, like I wish I would have just been more peaceful. I wish I would have understood what was waiting for me after death and just how beautiful it is here. And just being able to observe um, everything that you went through, and everything that everyone else went through that they were connected with. They have this much greater and broader perspective now, but um, if there was nothing where you felt that um, like something was your fault, I feel like this is them also just telling you that they don't want you to live in like guilt or blame. They're like, life is too short to be wasting it on, you know, wallowing in those feelings. Like go, go after what you truly love here because um, life is short and it is a gift. So yeah, Aries, masculine energy. So for most of you watching, I, I do feel like this is a man coming through. And then we have lovers. Interesting. So we have the, the swans here and the lovers. So at first I was getting like a father figure here, but I feel for a good many of you, this could be someone you had a love relationship with. Um, so, or if this is like a father figure, they could be really trying to orchestrate bringing in the, the perfect love match for you or really wanting to help you with your relationship in some way. Or even if this was a uh, past lover that passed on, um, they could even be wanting to help you find a, a good love match because they're like, I don't want you to have to go through it alone. Um, you deserve to have like a really good partner by your side while you're in this physical life here. Here's communication. And we have travel. So I feel like this person um, especially likes to be somewhat of an angel for you while you are traveling. I feel like they really watch over you even when you're just traveling short distances. I feel like they're also encouraging you to maybe go after some of your travel dreams if you have some. And communication coming through here, that kind of came through in the previous section. Um, I feel like they're encouraging you to explore your talents in communication with like other languages or um, you know, speaking, uh, reading, writing. They really want to tell you that you guys could impact the world on a large scale. They're like, you, you'll be able to do what I never was able to do while I was here. Okay, and we have Angel of Happiness. So I see that this person really is trying to act um, from the other side as someone that is bringing little happiness, uh, little bits of happiness to your day. I feel like they really are trying to do everything in their power to orchestrate happy events in your life. So I feel like they really are trying to uh, just pave an easier way for you so you don't have to have as much stress in your life as they did. I just want things to be happier and smooth for you in your life. 
Okay, and here's Apricot, Rejoice and Laugh. So I'm getting like this person also wants to convey to you that they are very happy in the place that they are in the realm that they are in. Um, so they wish that they could convey more of that happiness to you that um, they do they do feel happy. They do feel good. They do have a lot more understanding. They do, again, have some kind of um, regret over not being like how they are now in the physical life you know they, they were like there was stuff that got in the way that helped me to not quite lighten up but I've totally lightened up now okay anything else going on here I feel like this person just wants you to have more laughter in your life and here is present power so we have a lion and a tiger on there yeah, I feel like this person really is kind of like some guardian warrior spirit for you. And also, they really want to let you know just how powerful you are as well. They're like, anything you really want to do, you can do it. I'm going to help you as much as I can from where I am. All right, and then we have poise. This person really feels that you are a star. That they see that you guys could maybe be a celebrity even. Um if you aren't already and I feel like they they just feel like you deserve like the star treatment you deserve the world um they it's like you're they're like you're my special princess or prince or th it's like they see you as royalty and happy happy is on the bottom of this deck and I feel like all they care about is that you're going to live out the rest of your life here completely happy and completely free and being treated wonderfully so I feel like they're really working to remove people and situations from your life that could really drain your happiness. And I feel like they're really working to bring the right people in for you. Okay, and then finally we have cooperation. Um, in your quest to manifest the energy of love, you realize that every person and experience has value. So yeah, I'm, I'm just getting again that they are doing anything in their power to like make your life flow smoothly this person is an angel for you I feel like they if there was any kind of rocky relationship um while you guys were in the physical together I feel like they are trying to make up for that on the other side here by just bringing as many blessings as possible into your life and anything else here and I feel like this is them just conveying you to you the bigger perspective of that it's all good now you know everything that they went through they they see how um, it really like added value to their soul. All right. So I hope this helped you. I hope this made sense for you. Number one, I hope you got the messages that you needed to hear. You guys are welcome to check out another one of the readings if you want to, um, timestamps below, of course. And I hope I get to see you again very soon, either on another video on this channel or over on the Zodiac reading channel. Thank you so much. Number one, everything is linked below if you do want to check out some more videos. Thank you so much. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Hey there, number two. Those of you who chose this fortress card with the pair of glass pumpkins. Hope you guys are doing well. Let's see what's going on with your person, the person on your heart and mind. What is their hidden truth in this connection with you? And first we'll get some cards on their overall energy with you in this connection, how they're feeling about you. Please do keep in mind this is a reading for many people at once, so just take what you feel is for you. Feel free to leave behind anything that does not feel to be for you. It's likely a message for someone else, but hopefully most of the reading will resonate for you. All right, number two. What is your person's overall energy towards you in this connection? What are they feeling about you? This is the Tarot of the Vampires, by the way. All right, so coming out first, we have the Lovers with death. The Five of Pentacles. The Six of Cups. And the Devil. Okay, so I feel like this person 
is wishing like they could have done more to save this connection or been a better partner to you is what I'm feeling like here. Since we have death and the five of pentacles, I do feel this person is feeling your absence or feeling shut out from your life somehow or just feeling like they can't change the situation as much as they would like to, feeling a bit powerless here. There is a strong love connection that is continuing on here with the Six of Cups and the Lovers. I feel like this person is kind of tormented over what they should do in this connection, what they should do next. Um, possibly they're worried about, can they fix this? Do you even still want them? So I do see them really trying to figure out what's the next move here. Let's get some Oracle cards for some more context here. Here's far apart. Um, distance, separation, divide, distance is affecting your connection. So that could be the main thing here, that they feel like there's something that they cannot do something about, that they cannot overcome and change in order to bring you guys closer, in order to make you happier. Um, so, or, or they could be feeling like you guys are growing apart somehow, or you're growing away from them. But I feel for most of you, this could be a long distance thing. Okay. And here is Sewer Mermaid. Your sensuality is beautiful. I feel like this person, I feel like they want this connection though. They want it despite it being messy, difficult sometimes. They, they want you in every way, I feel. Even when you feel like you're not at your best, I feel like they still find you to be just the most attractive person. And... I feel like this person, um, they're not scared away. They're not shy. They're not shying away from maybe some of your, like your deeper, your deeper, darker thoughts or your fears. They don't shy away from that stuff with you is what I'm getting here. I feel like it only makes them love you more and relate to you more. Um, when you guys share maybe like, um, stuff that you would normally not share with others, like taboo things I'm seeing. Okay. And then here's union hand fasting come in with the lovers here as well. So um, I feel like this person, I'm really getting that no matter what has happened in this connection, they want to make things work. They want to figure this out, this distance, the separation here. I really feel like they want to stick with you. Sometimes when death comes up, I see that as them wanting to have a lifelong connection with you, not wanting to give up on this, taking this very seriously, feeling very deeply for you. And with the devil here, I see this as them really saying that they would go a lot, go through a lot for you. They would go through a lot of pain um, to make things work, to make you happier. Okay, and then here's the element of spirit coming through. Allow, trust divine timing timeless, binding force, soul spark are some of the words on here, source energy. So I am feeling that you guys do have a really beautiful connection together. I feel like you, you might have been with this person in many lifetimes. And then we have moving forward with grace, dignity, optimism. All right, so let's see what else comes through about this person here. Um, so overall, let me just get one more overall card to see where this person is with you and this connection. Okay, we have the Five of Swords. So, oh man, they they really feel that maybe they have done something to mess this up or, or feel like there's no repair or something. So maybe it's on you, number two, to you maybe you're deciding if you want to give this person a second chance or you want to keep um, kind of like waiting this out to see if uh, circumstances will change. Like for example, like just a practical example is if they were denied a visa into country and you guys like aren't able to easily be together. That could be one of those things. So I feel like this person is feeling like powerless to change things right now and they feel like the power is in your hands and it's up to you number two so I see that this reading can go two 
two ways really. I'm seeing kind of a 50-50 split here. Some of you guys are really in this and wanting to work on, on this with this person. And I feel like some of you, some others of you might have ended this and are moving forward with dignity and grace here. So let's see. What is this person's hidden truth? What is What are they not saying? What is left unsaid between you two? Let me just move these cards out of the way. Okay. So what is this person's hidden truth? What are they not saying in this connection? We have the six of wands. The chariot. The nine of cups. The Knight of Wands. And here is Temperance. All right, I feel like th this person has really big fantasies of just being a hero in your life, of coming in and uh, like sweeping you off your feet, making everything perfect and better in your life and working things out between you two. Because there's a lot of like big positive energy and um, success here. I, I feel like this person just wants to be seen as kind of like the hero in your life, as almost kind of like this savior figure or something. Um, but I, I'm getting like this person feels powerless to move forward right now. So I, I feel like they're not telling you just how strong of a desire they have to make this work, to make something better in your life, to maybe help make your dreams come true. Um, I feel very much that they, yeah, I just keep getting, they want to be the hero for you. All right. So let's get a few Oracle cards here as well. I feel like there might not be a lot hidden from you guys. This person might tell you a lot. That's why I'm just not getting like a huge message right here. I'm not getting like a lot of hiding. Okay. And we have child, fixed, stubborn, inner child, boundless energy, delights in simple things, baby. Wow. Okay. Delights in simple things is really standing out to me because I feel like this person could actually be pretty simple on the inside. And I don't mean that as like in an insulting way. I mean it in that um, I feel like they just kind of have one desire in life and they just want that one thing. So what is it that they want? I feel, yeah, I feel like their central thing is they, they want to be someone's hero. They want to be like, perhaps they want to be a father or a mother and they want, um, they want to be looked up to by their kids. So I feel like they want to be like that, like positive role model for others, especially younger ones. Um, but I feel like they want to, they want you to look up to them as well. This is their biggest desire in life, to be looked up to and to be like a positive leader. Some of them could even um, be like a musician. And then here is roundabout. Okay, new direction, community connections, many working parts, perfect timing. I feel like they really are willing to do a lot to change their life. I feel like they're very much willing to move and relocate um, if it means being able to make things work with you. This could mean that they want to have children with you or they just want to have a like more of a life with you. They want like a new beginning with you. I feel that with the baby and the child coming out as well, both of them, that's pretty amazing. Like both of these cards came out for them. Um, if it doesn't make sense for your situation that they're wanting to have kids or they have kids, this could also mean that they are just pretty childlike on the inside. They are somewhat naive and innocent and they don't have a lot that they're hiding. Like what you see is what you get. So if you, you are looking for what this person is leaving unsaid, I don't think they are leaving a whole lot unsaid. Most of it is just maybe they, they kind of tone down some of what they're saying to you. But I feel like uh, their feelings are pretty loud and very... Um, Almost like 
aggressive and powerful. I just feel like they, they want this. Like there's a lot of desire here for you and for this connection. All right, so let's see what these message cards have to say for their hidden truth, what they're not saying. I see you in my dreams. So that's the main thing this person doesn't talk with you as much about is just what they dream for in their life. So like if they don't want to be like a parent, be in that kind of a role model position, uh, they might be want to, want to be a role model for other children like nieces and nephews or little cousins, but I, or I'm also just seeing or the world at large, like maybe they want to be like a positive rock star, someone on stage, someone like some kind of leader, some kind of positive leader. Maybe they want to be some kind of entrepreneur and they see you as part of these dreams. They're like, I don't really, these dreams aren't going to be as fun without you there by my side. Okay, we will find each other again. I will always find you. Wow, so very straightforward there. One more card for anything else they're not saying to you. So they're very determined to make things work here. That things can work out one day. I've been a complete fool thinking that the grass would be greener on the other side, but it wasn't. Please forgive me. So maybe some of them, they, that's why they feel they mess things up here because they maybe went after something that they desired, something that they thought would make them happy. And they're finding out that their greatest happiness and love really lies with you. And I feel like they could be very determined to, to have victory here, to make it work, to have this new beginning, despite, um, despite what has happened. So of course you guys have the choice, um, whether you would want to work on things with this person or not. Even if it's a soul connection, you're not required to. Whatever you feel is right for you. Okay, so what is blocking them here, if anything? Is there anything blocking them from sharing more of this with you? Okay, we have the sun. And we have downcast pride. So pride and the ego could be a thing here. Um, I feel like this person does not want to be seen as a failure. So they feel like if they share all of these like heroic dreams with you, uh, everything working out and then it doesn't work out, they feel like that would be a huge blow to their pride. So I feel like they do tone things down just so they don't look like as much of a fool as they feel that they could be sometimes. All right, let's just get some more details here. A few more decks here. Anything else about this person's hidden truth? Anything they're not saying? Here's clock watching. Impatient, edgy, restless anticipation. This person could be really counting down the minutes when they hear from you again. So maybe if the ball is in your court, number two, they, they might not be telling you just how much they anticipate hearing from you or get, getting to see you again. They might be like kind of keeping track of how long it's been since they last heard, heard from you. And I'm getting like they just always can't wait to see you or hear from you again. And here's corrosion, unstable, corruption, deterioration. Maybe they feel like they've let themselves go somehow as well either like their body, their finances, something like that. And here's direction, um, guidance being led, following signs. I feel it's more like they, they feel like maybe they've let themselves fall apart somehow. Here's numbing as well, checked out. Okay, so substances on there as well. Um, I feel like this person is trying to, they're trying hard to choose a new direction. Maybe there was... Um, some other something else that came between you two here some kind of like addiction or just something that was um getting them to like numb out or check out from this relationship here but i feel like they they are noticing like without you or the thought of being without you the thought of messing things up between you is making them really want to 
try harder and try to choose a new direction, especially with all of this determination and victory energy here. What was this card again? Yeah, temperance. So I'm seeing like they're they're like, I want to try my best for you. I want to fix things. I want to be a better person for you. I can see that I was going in the wrong direction in my life. I chose the wrong direction where things were deteriorating around me. And um, they, they feel like if you guys aren't together, they feel like they've really been a mess without you. And they're like, I got to do better. I have to do better. I never imagined so much perfection. It's almost like this person idolizes you in a way. That could be their hidden truth here. Maybe you're coming through as this knight of wands. Almost like a, a celebrity crush kind of thing. I lie awake thinking about our future. And here's the Ace of Pentacles with love me so i really see that this person is wanting to give this one more solid shot here and um, i feel like they if you want it i feel like they will definitely extend their hand in love to you here's i just wish things were different maybe when the circumstances are aligning for you both okay I do feel like this person, um, yeah, maybe they're like, I will wait for you, but it's it's hard to wait. It's hard to wait. So they, they do feel like impatient. Okay. And then here is bridge successfully overcoming a problem with the rat. What does it say? Someone working against you behind your back and the rainbow, Ooh, rainbow bridge. The most difficult part of a situation is over. All right. So maybe there was someone in their ear or just some kind of negative influence that either directly or indirectly was disrupting this connection with you. And I feel like they have figured that out and they've removed that influence from their life, whether it was a person or a thing that was like um, breaking the connection between you two. So I see them very focused on repairing things here making things better between you two. These are very positive symbols as bridge and rainbow here. All right, let's see what else will come through. Get this bag of cards here. Okay, we have Saturn, the part of you that accepts challenge to gain wisdom. So this is a card saying that this person really is the trying their best to grow up and mature. Wow, we have another um, possible baby card here. Birth, universal energy brings you opportunity and possibility. So there's a real rebirth going on here. Um, this could also mean this person is going through their Saturn return, really becoming a more just responsible and dedicated person. And then we have another rainbow card here. Wow, rainbow reviver. So I do see that this person is trying to recreate themselves, reinvent themselves into a hap more like a happier go lucky person. And anything else? Let's see. I want to clarify this set of cards here. We have the King of Pentacles. I see this person is getting really ready to become their own selves. I feel that for maybe even one of their parents might have been stopping them from becoming more of becoming or doing more of what they wanted to in life. So I feel like this person is really starting to create life more on their own terms. I, I see that this rat could be like interference in that way of just um, not wanting this person to just be who they really are. Okay, that's interesting. All right, so let's get some advice for you on this connection number two. Any advice for number two in this connection? We have the Queen of Cups. Addiction, interesting, that definitely came through. And addiction is affecting this relationship. All right, so I feel like the first piece of advice coming through is um, you can't, no matter how much love you give someone, you can't love someone out of an addiction if it's like a serious issue that's really coming between you two. So it's not your fault if you weren't able to like turn this person around because it's something like some something someone gets gripped by and it's like they could only come out of it sometimes by getting 
getting making a choice and getting help being like professional help so that won't be um for all of you but let's see what else comes through here We have children, children coming through again. And new love, new person has stirred your romantic feelings. All right, so I'm getting for some of you guys for number two, I feel like um, you have taken, maybe taken a lot of care for this person for a long time, given them a lot of your love, a lot of your attention. And um, if you feel that you haven't been getting that so same, some kind of love and attention back in return, um, I feel it could be time to really take care of yourself. It doesn't necessarily mean breaking things off with this person if you don't feel that's right, of course. Like, um, But even within the relationship, just taking some more time for yourself, making sure you're taking time to care for yourself and um, just not blame yourself, I feel, for anything that went wrong here because I feel like there was something like bigger than both of you that was... Um, making things difficult between you two. So don't blame yourself. Number two, I feel like you guys really did all you could here. Um, let's see. Let's clarify this new love here. Here's the king of wands. King of wands. Let's see. I just want to make sure I get the right message for you guys. And the Queen of Swords. I do see this person can be very determined. If you guys are broken up, I see them very determined to win you back. Um, I do see that you might want to verify that they have been like working on whatever issues came between you two. So you don't repeat the same cycle with them. Um, some of you guys will be maybe choosing to just live your life and stay open for for new love maybe you're going to be focusing on your children if you have them or just um, reparenting yourself because I just feel like you guys need some peace and calm for a little while before maybe either you strike up this connection again with this person I do see this need for calm and self-care for a while and healing and then maybe you can come from a more grounded, um, more rational space to determine, okay, yeah, I want to try to work things out with this person or I want to stay open for a new love relationship, whatever you guys feel is best for you. So just taking some time for self-care and finding peace and comfort in your life. That's important for you guys right now. Um, Ace of Pentacles is on the bottom of the deck. So this is ensuring that you do have many more opportunities um, here to um, experience love in your life. All right, so number two, I have some message cards from them. Get some more of those. Let me move some of these cards out of the way. Okay, so what else would this person say to you? What are they thinking? What are they feeling? We have, I didn't see the truth about this connection for a long time. I was blindfolded. Now I finally realized that it is you. It was always you. You are the one. From the very first moment that I looked into your eyes, I knew that we belong together like yin and yang. They really do feel like you guys have a connection like no other, like no other could take your place with the lovers and this union card here, hand fasting. I know that what we have is something really special. I will never find anyone like you ever again. That's why I feel so stupid for letting you go or not figuring out how to make this work or not um, fixing my own issues. And oh, this card was coming out as well. Let's see. Um, like a butterfly, I'm growing and changing and finding my true colors. That's interesting because we had the rainbow with all the colors. In life, I'm finding my wings so I can fly and soon be on my way back to you. Please forgive me. Expect a message. This person does feel pretty determined to talk to you. And um, I'm working on myself. I feel like they really want to show off all the progress they've made but um, I would say take it slowly with this person I screwed up to be sure like their progress is actually grounded in and they don't just you know relapse to old patterns I want a second chance this 
does seem to be somewhat of a complicated situation here. I need more time to figure things out on my own right now. I feel like that could almost be coming from you, number two, or what you might be saying to them. And I know you I know that you are the other half of me. Even though I did not tell you this before, and I might never get the guts to say this to you, but I do love you. All right, I think that's all I have for you here, number two. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to move into the advice section of the reading now, the special Halloween spread. Um, so you can keep watching here if you'd like to, or you can skip over to another number if that's calling to you. Just do whatever you would like. And if you're leaving right now, I hope I see you soon on another video. Everything um, of interest should be linked in the description as far as other playlists to watch um, and my second channel, the Zodiac channel. All right, thank you so much, number two. All right, number two. So we're going to do a cute little Halloween spread for you here. Just advice for you or anything you need to hear all right so the first card is your costume who do you really want to be deep down or what desire wants to be expressed who do you really want to be deep down we have the eight of potions or cups so i feel that a lot of you want to be someone who has maybe is strong enough to walk away from the things that you feel bind you is what I'm getting here, that you're able to just put distance between you and situations that aren't good for you, things that aren't good for you. Um, let's see, anything else? Maybe you guys also want to be a traveler, someone who just goes on long journeys and just kind of uh, just journeys through the world. And this could be either like physical traveling or it could be through books or movies. We'll see if anything else comes through that card. Okay, trick. So what's a trick? What has you fooled or what is tricky for you right now? Okay, we have the four of presents or pentacles. All right, so I feel like some of you could be really holding on to someone or something that you feel is good for you or bringing you happiness, but it's really not. This could be something that's very tricky for you. Um, yeah, because I, I do see that you guys maybe do have challenges with walking away from things, people, situations that um, are not making you happy. Because I just see that you guys are just very, very loyal. Um, I also see for some of you guys just on like the lighter side, this could even mean um, like clutter, like too many things. Like maybe something that has you fooled is you think you're going to maybe need something one day, but it's really just taking up space and you never actually end up needing it. So just like excess stuff in your um, living space. Okay, a treat. Where is the gift? What's good coming into your life? What's next gift coming into your life number two okay uh see is this one card here i think two cards stuck together all right so two gifts we have the two of needles or swords with the queen of potions or cups so i see a lot of like self-care co time coming in for you this especially goes with if you watched the uh, first section of this reading with the advice there of taking time to care for yourself so i see you guys maybe um have been on the fence of about how like actually taking time to give more time to yourself or not knowing what to do. I see you guys really figuring out what makes you happy, what makes you feel emotionally cared for and satisfied and happy. More contentment at home as well. Maybe you guys haven't known how to do just to make things just right in your living environment. I see you guys making some changes there, making a plan on what to do to make yourself more comfortable. So more comfort coming into your life. It, this could also be a friend coming in that's going to help you make a really good heart-centered decision for yourself as well. Or maybe a good conversation with your mother, figuring something out with a mother or mother figure. Okay, and what's something sour? What are you holding on to and need to let go of? We have the king of potions or cups. So this could be an actual person in your life. This could be romantic or this could be um, non-romantic. This could be like someone at work, like a boss or something like that where 
maybe you need to spend less time with this person because you just feel like addicted to them somehow or you feel obsessed with them and you're like I don't know if they're right for my happiness just right now it it doesn't mean like that's what it would be forever but I feel like there could be someone it could help you to take some space from that person Okay, and something sweet. What can you embrace more of, do more of in your life to bring in more happiness for yourself? We have the king of candles or wands. I feel like making yourself a priority, doing things that are really exciting for you. I do see like going on some kind of um, trip would be really good for you. Taking some kind of vacation, especially with the eight of cups coming up as your costume, your deeper desires in life. I feel, yeah, that's, I feel like your deep desire in life is just to maybe get away from it all for a while and to just sort your things out and figure things out. So almost like embracing more of a little bit more of an ego for yourself you guys not in a bad way but just more like what do I re really desire what makes me passionate in this life and going for it and being okay with going for it um, this could also be a new person in your life as well maybe there's an, a one you're going to let go of that's it's been a sour tricky situation and there's a sweeter situation with someone who is maybe more confident and more on track in their life perhaps so take that if it resonates of course Let's get one more card here. And here's the Wheel of Fortune. So embracing what I feel like the Divine is trying to bring in for you. Um, I feel, yeah, I feel like the Divine is trying to help you embrace like the seasons of life, letting things change and flow. Because I do see that like, your tendency is to feel like, oh, I need to hold on to everything exactly the way it was. That's going to make me happiest. But I feel like you guys are happier. You guys will be happier with something new. Okay, let's get some oracle cards as well. Again, you guys only do what you feel is truly right for you. And your children, if you have them, since children came up a lot in the previous relationship uh, reading. Here's scrying intuition. So I feel like you guys are really tuned into your intuition. You truly do know what to do. Or this could be saying that's why you do need some peace and quiet and some self-care time. So you can really kind of um, look into the future on your own. Like get get a feel of what would your future be like if maybe you continued with one person or one job or one path and then how would your future be like what do you feel your future would be like if you went with another person another job or another path whatever that is and this these could be talking about like friend situations as well so I feel like you guys are highly intuitive you can um, get a feel for the future yourself all you have to do is just ask like what is the best path for me what will truly bring me more happiness what will help me feel like I'm fulfilling my purpose here okay and then we have sacrifice renunciation offering letting go so I do feel like there is a big message of there is something for you guys to let go of here this could even be um, something as simple as time like time that you spend um, in some kind of activities that's like taking away from you focusing on more productive activities or sacrificing some kind of um, spending habit or it could be a bigger thing like I need to let go of this relationship at least for now or this friendship or whatever it is this job because I feel like there's something better for me but it's like you need to let go of something to let the new bigger thing come in because I feel like something very pleasant wants to come in for you but of course only do that like let go of something if you feel like that truly aligns with your heart, your intuition. Like when you are able to get like peace and quiet and still on the inside, inner stillness. Because your intuition doesn't come from fear. Okay, and then we have maple tree here. Um, there's a change coming that is so big it will shift all that exists. Wow. So I think this came through in another advice reading. Um, a couple weeks ago and like that card was just like wow it's such a powerful card so I feel like you guys are really in the midst of a major life life change so it could be feeling like things are kind of in turmoil right now I feel like things are really starting to align for you you guys are meant to have something 
that's a lot less painful, a lot more beautiful. Because if you guys are stuck in like a cycle of pain, um, I feel like the like your guides, the divine is trying to break that cycle for you because you're not meant to be stuck in the cycle of pain. Okay, and then we have a frog. So this says, may the lily beneath your breasts allow you to drink from its healing waters. Be still for there is serenity behind the drowning croaks. Okay, so what is the meaning of this card? Um, so yeah, I feel like what you need for healing is inside you, like within your heart. Um, be still for there is serenity behind the drowning croaks. Okay. Okay, yeah. So I, yeah, I feel like if it's been hard, like maybe letting something go, like a phase of your life, a person, if you've, you've been having a hard time letting them go, you guys will be finding peace. You will find peace for sure. So is there anything else we need to know about this maple tree here? What is this big change coming in for you? Here's the nine of needles, nine of swords. Yeah, I'm getting like a relief from maybe all the tension you've been feeling over uh, maybe leaving a situation, making a big life change. I feel like your mental health, your emotional health is going to be improving so much with this new path you're taking. I feel like there is a lot of encouragement here for you guys to take a new path. There's a new start here for you with this ace of candles or wands. Oh, okay. And then we have Moth Caution. So I feel like this card is coming up to say to not take any like huge risks. If you feel the need to make a change in your life, maybe do it step by step. Do your research before making some major changes. And here's the end of a tough cycle approaches, full moon and Capricorn. So I love that. This is your final card here. I love that this came out uh, as the final card that I feel like the struggles in your life maybe have reached their peak. And um, so this is this is the peak. And then everything else is like downhill and releasing and relaxing from here. The stress is leaving. Um, I feel this could mean that you guys are going to figure out how to navigate difficult emotions, difficult situations. I do see you being able to get away to a more peaceful place. So I feel like it's like the worst is over. The best is yet to come, you guys. So keep swimming. Keep going. Your hard work is paying off. New moon and Capricorn here as well. All right. So... Um, just make sure you guys are taking really good care of yourselves. Make sure you're surrounding yourselves with people who have truly have your best interests at heart. At heart, I feel like they can give you a lot of good advice. If you guys really feel like you have no one to go to, um, I feel it's also important for you guys to just get in touch with that intuition. Get in touch with your divine connection. Call on divine help. Just sincere prayer can really help. So you can do both. Get that support, mental, emotional support from friends, family, um, therapy, whatever it is for you guys, and also call on your divine support, your divine team. I feel like there's a lot of help available to you. Okay, there's nothing wrong in asking for help and support. Many, many, many people need help and support in this life because it is not easy here. Okay, so not always easy. I feel like your your life can get easier, can get better, can get more peaceful for sure, number two. So I hope this helped you. I'm going to go on to the next section now, which is um, loving messages from deceased loved ones. So if there's anyone on the other side that you would like to hear from, we'll just see whatever will come through. All right, number two, let's see what messages come through from loved ones who have passed on that you would like to hear from. We'll just kind of free free flow with the decks of cards I have here. So just take whatever messages you feel are for you. Maybe think of a person, get that person on your heart and mind that you would like to hear from. Okay, number two, their loved ones in spirit. What would they like to say? Number two, we have the nine of cups. So just right away, I'm feeling like they want to see all of your dreams and wishes come true. They could also be saying like they are really at peace and content with where they are in the spiritual realm. Almost like they're kind of having the time of their life. Like they're definitely 
experiencing a heavenly experience. And here's the Six of Cups. So um, it doesn't have to be, but this could be a, um, a parent-child connection here. And Queen of Swords, mother figure coming through as well. And we have the Emperor. That's funny. As soon as I say mother figure, we also have a father figure. So for some of you, this could be a father and a mother coming through. Our father, stepmother. Okay. And then here's the Hermit. Virgo. All right. Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So I, I feel like this kind of came through in number one as well that this person that's wanting to come through for you they want to see you have real true love in this lifetime I feel like they're really trying to make that happen for you I see also if you have children they're being pr very protective of your children and I feel that they do check in on you guys wanting to make sure that um, you're taking good care of yourself um, I feel like they're saying no matter what you're always going to be my baby I always care about you um, let's see here. I, they could be very, again, if you guys have children, I feel like they're very proud of the way that you are raising your children. Um, we need some Oracle cards. And here is kangaroo, love, protection, and simplicity. So we have like another parent-child relationship here as well. So I'm getting like this per person has very tender feelings for you. And they're saying like those feelings will always exist. I'm always going to love and care for you. And um, I just feel, yeah, I just feel like this person's super protective of you. Um, okay, let's see what else. Australia is coming through here as well as a significance. And then we have Cancer, I feel, Mother coming through again. Okay, so whether this is a mother or father or both coming through, they they have very tender feelings towards you. They have very motherly feelings towards you. And um, even if someone is a man, they can be very mothering. So, um, but that that's the main thing coming through here is like that bond, that affection for you as their child is never going to be broken. You're like, please take care of yourself as much as you can and spend as much time making yourself happy here while you are here on this earth. I also feel like maybe they're encouraging you to get out a little bit more too and enjoy life. They're like, don't, don't stay cooped up for too long. Um, if you guys have gone through like a healing period, like spending time by yourself, I feel like they were at your side very often. Here's I feel healthy and happy. All right. That's a beautiful card coming through because that was a big thing coming through with the nine of cups that they were feeling really great. They are feeling really great. They're very happy with where they are. You have nothing to feel guilty about. So especially if this was a situation where maybe they had like declining health, maybe you guys felt like you could have done more or there was something that you might be blaming yourself for they're like don't worry about it all is forgiven or there was nothing to even be forgiven it's all good and for a few of you this could be reversed where maybe you have lost your child and if that's the case I'm really really sorry because that is pretty much one of the just worst and hardest things to go through on this planet I send you loving signs through nature but of course, it is very, very difficult to lose a parent as well. Um, okay, so and I do see that you guys really do have a special and sweet bond with this person. So I do feel like this person is like a mother bear around you. And even if this person is a child in spirit, like they are very protective of you. Um, I, I do really feel like they want you to get out and live your life because they're like, you still have so much more to give. You have so much more to build here. Your life's not over. I send you loving signs through nature, especially like I feel like they want you to get out in nature more or just into places that you feel very happy in or places that maybe you guys used to go together. That's where they especially feel connected to you and are able to work on sending you some signs. All right. Then we have infinity. 
So I was very much feeling that um, if you guys believe in multiple lifetimes that they they're like this connection is ongoing. We will be together many, many more times. Maybe some of you guys have gone back and forth between sometimes they're the parent, sometimes uh, they're the child and kind of flip flopping through different lifetimes. So there is a lot of pure love that exists between both of you. And then we have music. So they could also speak to you through music or you guys might have some special songs together. So they feel like it's easier to connect with you maybe when you're listening to some of those songs that you guys used to share together. Or maybe they want you to pursue something with music. They're saying like that could be very healing for you. And here is doorways. And I feel like they also are working hard to maybe open some doorways of opportunity for you in this lifetime. So that's why they're like, you know, you still need to get out there and live your life because the best is yet to come. They're like, our relationship was so special and important, but there's still, there's still many more wonderful things and wonderful people for you to experience in this lifetime. So hop to it. And then we have the angel of learning. So I feel like this person is especially helping you from the other side with um, any kind of studies that you're doing or any type of way that you're opening a new door for yourself. Like, especially a new career opportunity, I feel like this person is really trying to support that, support you in that, and doing anything they can to make um, things more favorable for you in whatever door you're trying to open. So if there there is something that you are thinking of, like a way you want to go, I feel like this person will really try to support you in that as much as possible and help you to make your dreams come true. Okay, and then we have Peach, inhale a breath of life. So number 19 is on there. That could be a significant number. What number is on here? Eight, 16 on here. Is there anything? No. Inhale a breath of life. They want you to enjoy yourself. They want you to take time for yourself and then they also want you to get out there and make the most of your life. Okay, what else does this person want you to know? They're like, I got your back here. And then we have dark thoughts. So I feel like this person is also almost like begging you to please don't get lost in those dark thoughts. Maybe if you guys are blaming yourself or feeling guilty about something here or if there was something unresolved between you two, I feel like they're like, please don't dwell in those thoughts because it's truly okay and I'm truly fine and I'm happy and I'm okay with how everything worked out and we have other opportunities to work together and resolve things and have more time to love each other as well. I will see you soon. And here is flexible. Number 19 again. Okay, flexible. Let's see what else. And then we have empathy. You feel and understand the emotions of another in the surface of in the service of love. Okay, so I feel like this person is saying that they really get like if there was anything that was blocking them from maybe seeing your perspective in uh, this lifetime together I feel like they're really understanding it a lot better now because they're getting this higher perspective on things so I do see them um, their whole perspective on life and death has truly changed through this dying experience and um, I, I just feel like the main message is them saying they're okay they're happy. They want you to be happy. They don't want you to not live their life just because they're not there with you. It's just going to be, um, it's going to feel like a blink of blink of an eye and you guys will be together again. So make the most of it while you're here and you guys will be seeing each other again. You will be having more lifetimes together if you both decide that. And it seems like both of you will, because I do feel like this eternal love, this eternal bond between you two, um, and something special about music here where you guys really just share something special through music. So I, I'm sure something will come up for you guys there. Um, but yeah, I feel like you guys maybe have, have been hearing some songs that are reminding you of them. So um, yeah, I feel like this is saying like keep keep your heart and mind open for communication from them as well. Because I feel like they gently want to maybe just show you that everything's okay and you know sending you signs through nature so look out for special things in nature i feel like that's like a confirmation that they're there with you they're 
They're still trying to guide you and open doors for you, lead you to the light because I feel like they, they're seeing you struggling and they're like, you don't have to stay like that. I'm really going to help guide you to somewhere where you feel like you're ready to keep moving on with your life. You're ready to keep learning. You're ready to keep growing here. There's so much more for you to do and explore here still. Okay, number three, or excuse me, two, I hope this helped you. I hope this made sense to you. And I hope I see you again very soon, either on another video on this channel or over on the Zodiac Reading channel. I have playlists linked below if you're interested. And hope to see you soon, number two. Take care. Bye-bye. Hello, number three. Thank you for being here. Those of you who chose the frog with the emerald card, beautiful emerald card. Hope you're doing well. So let's see what is your person's hidden truth in this connection with you. First, we'll get some cards on their overall energy towards you in the connection, how they're feeling about you. And please do keep in mind, this is a reading for many people at once. So just take what you feel is for you and leave behind anything that feels wrong or off for you. It's likely a message for someone else, but hopefully most of the reading will resonate if you chose this. Okay, so number three's person, their overall energy toward a number three. And this connection, what are they feeling? Okay, we have the Page of Wands. This is the Spirit Halloween Tarot. With the Lovers. with the Two of Cups. And this card wants to come out. The Hanged Man. And we have the Star. Okay, so let's see the Star. We have the Two of Cups, the Lovers. Wow. All right, Page of Wands. Okay, so I feel like this person's been keeping you waiting despite them feeling like this intensely amazing connection with you. I feel like there's a lot of desire here for you. Queen of Swords is on the bottom of the deck, so I feel like maybe you guys are getting tired of waiting for this person or getting tired of them, like maybe not speaking up and just acknowledging this connection here. So I'm going to get some more Oracle cards here for um, context. We have Strong Bonds. All right, family, union, partnership, strong bonds and ties can influence someone's decisions or actions. So I see this person really sees a future with you with a star here. And then we have a skull of light illumination. This kind of feels like the hangman here because the hangman can be about um, like enlightenment, seeing things more clearly in a different perspective. So this, this could be really coming to light for this person, just how strong of a connection they feel with you. How much of a beautiful future they can see with you as well. Maybe realizing, you know what, I, if they're soulmates, number three is my soulmate. And then here is road, crossroads, journey, multiple choice, travel, free will, opportunity, weigh the option. So I feel like maybe this person has been leaving you hanging because they are trying to decide between do I, you know, jump into this love and move forward with number three or do I go my own way, do my own thing? And uh, hopefully this isn't the case for you guys. Like maybe they were trying to choose between you and someone else. So yeah, that's never fun. Um, I feel like they could be leaning um, whatever they're trying to choose between, whether it's another person or it's another, just take that if it resonates for you, of course, or if it's another um, like opportunity, like they have to move for a job or something, chase some kind of opportunity. Um, I feel like they do feel like it's more weighted towards you right now because there is a lot of, there are a lot of very strong cards here in terms of their interest and the feelings they have for you. So I feel they really are in the middle of trying to make a decision right now. And maybe for you guys, it's like, you're like, if you can't make that decision right away, um, maybe that's kind of like turning you off from them a bit. Okay, and then here is I am Kali, from death comes rebirth. This could be one of those things where maybe 
Um, you guys split up for a while and they're they're wanting to get back together again because they feel such a strong connection here. Some of you guys might just not be having it or they could be worried that you're going to be very angry with them. That maybe it's too late for them. Okay, and then we have Herbal kitch Kitchen Alchemist. So I do see them wanting to really change the situation, change the outcome here. Maybe they've really changed as a person as well. Or they're like, you've really changed me. I'm a new man. I'm a new woman. Because uh, many of these uh, tarot cards here, they just feel so overwhelmingly positive. Like, I want this. Okay, and then we have a social circle, perception, and opinion. So the crossroads could also be maybe they were uh, going back and forth between choosing a relationship with you and starting a life with you and maybe doing what their family expects of them. I think that came out in number one as well. But especially here, I feel like um, influence of their friends, their family, their peers could be really weighing heavily on them or just maybe they, they want some kind of like flashy career or something and... I feel like maybe they weren't giving you enough time and attention or something like that. So I feel like they're, it's coming to light what they need to do in order to make a relationship work, in order to be a good partner. I feel like maybe for a while they were kind of naive and clueless on how to be a good partner, especially with this like Page of Wands card here. I feel like you've always excited them. They've always been attracted to you, very much desiring you, but I feel like they are learning a big lesson right now on how to maybe keep a good partner because they've always felt a special connection with you, but I feel like they're they're working on making the decision now, like, um, what do I need to do in order to make this connection last a long time to actually be a good partner for number three? So there is somewhat of a growing up going on here. All right, that seems to be kind of a theme through today's reading, someone growing up and needing to take some more responsibility. Okay, so what is this person's hidden truth? What are they not saying? Let's get some more tarot cards on that. Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Some more waiting. I feel like maybe you guys have been very patient with this person. And they could be really acknowledging that. They know that it's been, been a while. They've been making you wait or something. Okay, here's the Ten of Wands. King of Swords. So I feel like they are really acknowledging that they have been taking maybe too much time to make a decision. And I feel it's only just now, like they're coming to this understanding of just how much this has been affecting you as well. All right, and then we have the Nine of Swords. So another like guilty conscience coming through here. Nine of, Ten of Wands, Nine of Swords. Okay, and then we have the Ace of Swords. All right, so I feel like this person they know they need to make a decision. They know they need to talk to you. They know that they need to tell you what's on their mind. And I feel like what they're not saying is just how much um, it really does bother them that they haven't been able to make up their mind, that maybe they've been leaving you hanging, that I, I do feel like there is some pressure that they've been under that maybe they don't tell you about. This could be especially in their business. Um, so I feel like they like to come across as just kind of playing it cool. Like they've got everything. Um, maybe they have everything figured out, but they really don't. I feel like they're very overwhelmed, very overloaded with life in general. Okay. Let's see what else here. What else is their hidden truth? Um, just like in number two, I feel like there's not a whole lot that you guys don't really know about this person because I do feel this strong connection here. I feel like this person does like to talk to you, but I feel like the amount, like the, 
the uh, psychic pressure that they feel on a day-to-day basis, I feel like they do, you guys maybe don't know about that. They don't tell you just how much it bothers them that they're not being a like better partner to you or not able to step up and maybe give you a clear decision and take a clear direction in life. Okay, and here is, it's time. It's time for action. Things are fast-tracked to unfold quickly and smoothly. Interesting, because like all that stuff about waiting was coming through. And then here's friends. And here is pillory. So something about embarrassment in front of friends. Like uh, maybe they're embarrassed. Like they're, I feel like they could be just really in love with you because we have this lovers and two of cups card here. And I feel that there is something in them that is just embarrassed to show other people that they really have it bad for someone because this is someone who likes to pretend like they're they're too cool for love they're not going to fall in love they're they're just like doing their own thing and I feel like this is something they are embarrassed like they're embarrassed that they fell in love it's that's kind of silly but I feel like that's what's coming through here so they know it's like weighing on them heavily they know it's time for them to um you know come out in the open and be like you know what I'm I'm like fully in love with number three and you know that that's what it's all about and uh, this could be like something something with family here like family disapproval or something and they know it's time to just be like it is what it is and it's all good and you guys like just I feel like they're they're needing to work on not caring so much about others opinions so maybe there's something unconventional about this relationship between you two. Okay. Like something maybe they're okay with, but maybe friends and or family or some kind of social circle is not okay with it. So take that as that resonates for you. All right, what else? Um, here's I want to fix this. And two cards here. And we have my life may seem like I got it all figured out, but the truth is that it is one big mess. I feel so lost and I just don't know what to do. So I feel like that was already coming out that with this King of Swords here, they like to act like they do have everything figured out and it's all good. And here is I will come back to you one day and I will fight for this love. So to them, they don't feel like it's over here. They don't want this to be over. Okay, let's see, I have one more deck here. Yeah, here it is. And I just want you to be happy, even if that means without me in your life. So maybe they also aren't showing you just what an understanding they do have about just how either making you wait, not making a decision. Maybe there's some somewhere else that they made you unhappy that they, they made you angry or hurt you somehow. Um, I feel like they don't tell you how much that your happiness really does matter to them and they want you to just go on and live your life. Like if that does mean without them, then they are, they will get satisfaction that you are happy where you are. So I feel like they just want things to resolve. If there was a storm between you two, they want it to blow over. They want you to be happy again if you are frustrated at this time. If you are angry or upset in any way, um, I feel like they want, they just want you to be happy and they get it. Like they get it if you're like, you're not going to choose me because I feel like they don't tell you enough just how much understanding they really do have of maybe just how frustrating they've been in this connection. I'm going to turn on another light, you guys. So hold on. Okay, let's get some more details. So what is blocking them? What is the main block here? It feels like we already saw some of their blocks here that they um, like aren't embracing this connection because of some kind of opinions or just feeling like they need to choose another path in life right now. So take whatever makes sense for your situation. So let's see, what is blocking them? What's their main block? We have the Four of Cups. So in action, okay, I feel like this person is actually pretty frustrated at themselves that 
they haven't been able to maybe get moving on this decision, haven't been able to make a choice, um, haven't been able to maybe tell you what you want, do what you want them to do. So there is frustration here. Let's get one of these dark mirror cards as well. So it really has been coming to light for this person though, just where they went wrong. Maybe there might have been some blame here toward you at first, but I feel like it's kind of turning around with this hanging man. They're like getting this different perspective on just everywhere that they went wrong in the connection, every misstep, everything that they could have done better here with you. And here is Envious Gluttony. Wow, what a card. Okay, wow. Yeah, this person with the opinions and social circle, like this open, like dishonor, the friends card. I just feel like this person is almost like, like, they. I feel like very, they could have been very much in a materialistic trap. That, that could be the problem here. That it was like nothing was ever enough for them. And I feel like they got to this point of just like, where they couldn't see a really good thing when it was in their life because I feel like they had just had too many experiences and was always wanting what someone else had and it was just never enough for them. So I feel like they, they're really learning the lesson now that you have to create your own happiness and you have to make a happy life out of what is given to you and do the best with your circumstances and recognize a beautiful gift from the divine when you see it. Because, um, so I feel like that's what really got in the way here was this consciousness that they were in. Um, I feel like it is, it is a good sign that we have an illumination card here that they could be really starting to become more self-aware, realizing more of what makes true happiness. Sorry guys, the camera cut off there. There's been so much interference with, uh, these readings today. Um, so... Like I was saying, like this person is starting to become more self-aware of their patterns of needing to make their own happiness in life and accepting beautiful gifts into their life when they come into their life, like a an opportunity for a wonderful relationship. Um, so I'm also seeing though, for a few of you guys, if you feel like this person is truly stuck in some really negative patterns, this um, illumination card could be about you really seeing and understanding that um, where this person is in life and being very stuck and that it's best for you to move on. So that could be some of you guys just um, needing some encouragement there. All right, so we'll get some more details on anything else about their hidden truth here. I do feel for most of you watching though, there is um, a revelation more on their end that it's like a kind of a slow revelation. Like maybe I need to do things differently Maybe I need to care less about what others think and what others have. It's especially like what others have. It's like they want to like follow that same path or something. Okay, in with the good, out with the bad. Cleanse, banish evil, purify, and purge. Here's balance, equal give and take, focus, harmony. I feel like they, they if you gave them some advice or some strong opinions, I feel like they really are taking that advice to heart. It's helping to, to balance them out for sure. And here's sisters, friends, confidants, family you choose. So they might have some wise friend or family member, especially most specifically a sister perhaps, who is really trying to help them have a more balanced perspective about life, who is trying to help them become more self-aware, heal this maybe like greedy or materialistic focused consciousness. So I do feel that the divine is helping them by sending in um, or giving advice through people who are really helping them to become a better person. So I feel like this person might be surrounded by like, the, it's kind of like when you choose, when you have friends, um, like there's like some quote about like the five people you spend the most time with that that's like who you become. So I feel like maybe they've chosen friends, they've chosen to spend time with people who really have brought them down in consciousness, but they do have some, I feel like some angelic people in their family who really do try to help this person out and um, get them away from like that consciousness that their friends are really bringing them down into. And if they don't have like a, like a social circle, it could be social media that's really poisoning them. 
Like they're just, it's like misuse of social media. Okay, let's see what else. So they could have some special bonds with family members and who are just like really dear to their heart and they might not tell you about this affection either because I feel like this person doesn't openly talk about their feelings. I want to start a family with you. So interesting. So I feel like family could be really important to this person. It could be something that they're really starting to realize and you are so beautiful. Why do you need me? And they they definitely acknowledge that you can be happy without them and they want you to be happy without them if that's what you choose, if that's what you feel you need. But I still want a fresh start with you. And think before you act is coming off the top of the deck here. So I feel like this person is also acknowledging that maybe they've done too much thinking before acting. They've slowed themselves down too much. Okay, because that's part of their imbalance as well. They maybe overthink things. They don't act enough. Not enough action. All right, let's get some of these tea leaf cards here. I'm just going to close my eyes, take three of them. One, two, and three. All right, we have Quill, get back to the basics. We have Ladder, climbing towards success. And we have Carriage, a journey either physical or mental. Wow, okay, so things could be on the up and up for this person, you guys. Um, I see this person is really wanting to become a better person. They are really noticing their faults and they're like, I need to do better. So that is step one of going to a better place for sure. So it, it looks like this person is healing. Okay. And I feel like they, they feel sorry if they brought you down at all. If they like brought you down with them, they're like, you deserve better. And this is a beautiful card, the star. Hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and positivity. Okay, you guys, so um, I'm taking two things from this card here. This could mean if you guys have totally chosen to move on um, away from this connection, this is saying like there are way better things to come and you guys have learned a lot from this and you will take those lessons with you. And this, but uh, if you guys are choosing to still work on it with this person, um, I'm seeing like this, I feel like the best is yet to come in this connection as well, that this person has really figured out a lot. Yeah, we have the star here as well. So this person really feels like there's hope here, things can work. And then we have Chiron coming out to acknowledge that there has been some healing that has been uh, completed here. What else? Yeah, I feel like this person has really been struggling with their deepest wounding in this lifetime. And I feel like that it is something around um, like materialism where... Maybe this person grew up feeling judged by others because they didn't have like nice things or something like that. And so image appearance was very important to this person so much to the point of it became like what they wanted most was actually what kept sabotaging them because we have the self-sabotage card as well. So this person is finally realizing how or maybe through the help of like a sister or other like helpful advisor in their life they are starting to heal that pattern. They might even be going to therapy. So I feel like if there has been someone really caring and helping this person, I feel like that can really help put this relationship on the right track if it's something you guys still want. Um, if you guys are moving on, I feel like this is saying you have healed your greatest pain as well. Maybe you guys have like the tendency to, to self-sabotage, to maybe choose to be with the people who aren't the best for you. And this is saying you guys have moved on to the next level. You're beyond that now. Okay, so let's see here. Um, let's get some advice for you in this connection. Any other advice for you in this connection? Number three, we have the Eight of Cups. <laughs> Pirate is on there. Eight of Cups, this. I feel like that's saying be wild, independent, and free. Number three, do what you want because the pirate is free. You are a pirate. Okay, passion. Try something you've never done before. Yeah, this is your time to go on your own adventures, to go on your own quests. Number three. So trying something new. 
Um, maybe you guys are feeling free from this connection and you're ready to just start your new life. And here's attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay, so I feel like if you guys are looking, I, I feel like a lot of you guys maybe aren't really looking for new love right now. I feel like you're either moving move, moving along to just enjoy your life right now or you're content with just working on things with this person and you're not in a rush. I feel like in the meantime, just do what lights your soul on fire. And I just feel like you guys will never have a lack of romantic options because I feel like the, the passion you have in life is a very attractive quality to you no matter what your outer appearance is. It's like your inner fire that is super attractive to others. Okay, anything else about the advice here? I feel like it's... The main advice is just to keep your emotional distance right now, whether you're going to work on things with this person or move on. Uh, guarding your heart is important and not getting like too caught up in the moment um, because I feel like there is just a lot that still needs to be worked through. So be careful with that. All right, any other messages from this person? Let me get the message cards back out here. Okay, what else would this person say to you? Number three, we have, I'm heartbroken. So again, this pe person really keeps their feelings under, wrap, under wraps. I'm taking a risk. So there's that contemplation of, maybe I'm gonna do something different. Like my, my usual thing is to act like I don't have all these feelings. I'm not gonna fall in love. I'm gonna just be my own person. So maybe I can take a risk to follow my heart to show people that I fell in love with someone. Okay, and I need more time. So my goodness, this person is still taking their time. So I feel like they, they see that they put you between a rock and a hard place here where they're like, I know it can't be just all about me and my schedule. I know your schedule matters as well, but it, but I'm still like frustrated, sad about the situation. Okay, here's, I ended it because I had other things going on that needed my attention. I feel like the feelings very much exist here because I feel like this is one of those like strange, almost kind of contradictory readings where most of the tarot cards that came out were pretty positive, like, you know, loving, like we have a loving connection cards, but there was just something coming through about the hangman in particular coming out just made me feel like, okay, there's something beautiful here. Why isn't this person acting on it? Why are they just waiting? Why are they making you wait? Why are they having to think so much about this? So I feel like that's why it kind of took the turn of... Um, this person not like just being jumping all in right now. Okay. I want you to move on with your life because I just don't know when I will be ready for you. I don't expect you to want, I, oh, excuse me. I don't expect you to wait. I want you to be happy. So that I feel like, I think that's the second. Yeah. I want you to be happy is coming through here twice. And for the smaller number of you where you feel like this person does not have like, goodwill or they're just kind of like ignorant about like they're just not even thinking about you um, I feel like this is the divine this is your higher self being like I just want you to be happy or this could be loved ones looking out for you in spirit like I just want you to be happy so just take that if you just are like really over this person and done with them and you don't feel like they have goodwill towards you but I feel like for most of you watching this person does care about your life and they want you to like follow your passions, follow your dreams, become that star that you are. They do see you as a star. Here's, I wish I handled things differently. I was selfish, immature, and only looking out for my best interests. You deserve someone better than me. Okay, um, you are worthy of so much more than what I can give you right now. I'm working on becoming the person that can give you what you deserve. So here's spiritual awakening, one, 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 new beginning of love. Okay, I wish I could take back all the hurtful things I've said to you. I didn't mean them. So maybe this um, connection has really helped to wake you up to get you more on your happy path in life 
number three, even if you went through some difficult stuff, I feel like there is a beautiful outcome here for you. And like I said, I feel like you've healed your deepest wound in this lifetime. Or you're very much in the process of that. Okay, you do not know this, but you are the reason I get out of bed every morning. You are my raison d'etre. Maybe this person is French or speaks French. And here is, I have kept myself closed off for so long. It's all I know to do. Please give me some time to open up to you. So that did come through as um, part of their hidden truth is that um, they, they always want to act like they're just cool and calm, but they truly, they know that there's something deep here. And I feel like they, it's just not within their like operating system to, um, to like show that love, to know how to like be a loving partner. So it could be that they are getting some downloads and updates, but I feel like they have to really cho fully choose that within themselves to like step into that role of being a loving partner. So I do feel that most of you guys are walking away to something happier and others of you, a few of you, I feel are maybe going to, um, you continue working on things with this person because there are many different situations that are watching. So I can't just say like one size fits all. All right, you guys, I think that's all I have for you here in this portion of the reading. So either you can stay tuned on number three here to see the little personal advice reading Halloween special we're going to be doing here, or you can choose one of the other numbers if you want to, or if you're leaving here, I hope I see you soon on a future video. There are links to um, playlists below if you would like some more um, love pick a cards or want some readings for your zodiac sign. All right, number three, thank you. Okay, number three, we're going to do a cute Halloween spread here for you guys reading about you. And this reading is timeless, so whenever you're watching it, it's all good. So your costume, that's the first card here. Who do you really want to be deep down? What desire wants to be expressed? Who do you really want to be deep down? Number three, we have the Page of Cups. So I feel that you want to be someone who maybe just freely and easily expresses their emotions, maybe shows affections, or this could even be someone who is artistic. So um, kind of like a Pisces vibe. If you guys know the sign of Pisces, know the characteristics. Um, I feel like you want to be like that. Maybe someone who has um, like a really good imagination. Some I feel like you guys, a lot of you want to be some kind of artist and maybe you actually want to be like an angel in this world as well. So interesting. We'll see if more details come out about that. So the next card is a trick. So we have trick, treat, sour, sweet. Okay, trick. What has you fooled or what is tricking you right now? Or is tricky for you right now? What has you fooled? All right. We have the four of cups here. So I do feel that... Um, like you guys could sometimes have grass is greener syndrome where maybe you are thinking other people, maybe you see them on social media or you see friends and they look a lot happier than they actually are. Or you, you feel like if you had their life, like things would be great or things would be a lot better. But I feel that, um, that would actually, if you guys had that life, that others have that you may be like kind of jealous of envious of in some way or you just want it for yourself it might not make you as happy as you think so that could be what is a bit tricky for you and a treat where is the gift what good is coming into your life what's the gift coming into your life okay we have the ace of pentacles here so this could mean like an actual solid material gift coming into your life. So that could be someone giving you something really awesome that you really wanted. This could be a new opportunity for a job or a step up in your career. Um, this could be some actual extra money coming into your life. Anything else? So that's good news. We have the emperor. All right, so this could even be literally like money from a father or father figure or some kind of masculine, protective masculine figure in your life. Um, I'm also, this could mean like a new boss, just someone, I, I feel like someone is going to come in and just offer you a solid opportunity. So a solid opportunity coming in for you or some actual um, helpful material gifts to help advance you in life. 
Okay, and then we have sour and sweet. So sour, what are you holding on to that would help you to let go of? We have the Hierophant. So there could be something that you are doing by the book or doing it just because your family told you to do it or it's just like the way things have always been done or just some kind of like advice that you got maybe from, I feel like especially from a book or some kind of coach or some kind of video you watched. Um, I feel like there could be some advice that's actually not leading you toward happiness. It's actually making your life harder. So there could be some kind of uh, knowledge that you need to let go of, some kind of belief system. Maybe even something like in your religion that's not working for you that you feel is not true within your heart. So some kind of beliefs. Okay, and sweets. What can you embrace more of or do more of in your life for more happiness? Okay, we have the six of, I think these are the six of pentacles here. No, hold on guys. Um, let me look here because I think the skulls were pentacles. Sorry. Um, we're going to clarify this one. Okay, we have the full moon here, which is actually the sun in this deck, which is amazing because I am f filming this on a full moon day today as well. So um, I'm just going to take this. This is like the six of pentacles here. So I feel that just letting more more people into your life who want to freely share with you. Maybe some of you guys are reluctant to receive. And I feel like this card is saying like, it's your time. It's your time to receive more. I feel like there's so much maybe good karma stored up for you. So many like really cool divine gifts that are yet to come into your life. So expect miracles, expect good things. Number three, I feel like there's a lot stored up for you. And I feel like there's a lot of good coming to you because I feel like you guys do have a good heart deep down because of this page of cups. Like that's who you really want to be. You want to be someone very sweet. You want to be someone angelic, someone who is um, like innocent and comes from really like pure intentions. So I see you guys deep down just wanting to continue to like purify your heart and become a better person, like truly deep down. And I feel like that is really, that's really seen by the divine and that is, I feel, you guys are going to be receiving a lot of divine help. And, you know, that's like spiritually and um, the divine, like prompting others to help you in the physical world as well. Okay, so let me get you guys a few more oracle cards just to see anything else that wants to come through here. This emperor and the ace of pentacles, this could also mean a new start in a relationship with someone who is mature and really wants um, to be there for you, wants to be a solid, stable fixture in your life. Okay, we have um, winter, the sacredness of pausing. So if you guys um, are still watching from the first part of number three, I do feel that there was, um, there was a time, there was like a need for you guys to just kind of do your own thing, have fun on your own for a while and just pause and just ask yourself, like reevaluate, what do you really want in life? Because I feel you guys also really want to be someone who really follows their heart and what their heart purely wants. Um, because I feel like you guys don't want to be like the person in number three who was get getting really caught up in what others had and what others wanted. And maybe you guys could kind of identify with that to a, to a certain degree. But I'm getting like, you're like, you know what? I don't want to be like that. I, don't want, I want to erase all that. So I feel like giving yourself some time to let old patterns die off is important because that will give you this fresh, new, amazing start. Okay. And nice card here. Hope, anticipation, bright prospects, wish. Okay. So one of your most precious wishes of your heart might be coming true here. I feel like this is saying build up some anticipation for some of this awesome stuff to show up in your life that will help you keep going, help you give some, give you some hope. To keep moving forward in your life. So winter, if you guys feel you've been going through some kind of dry spell in love or in money or just whatever happiness, I feel like it is coming to an end soon. This is saying that winter does not last forever. It's just a season. And here's apothecary cabinet. Without practice, without befriending them, they are strangers in your path. Okay, let's see. What does that have to say? Let me get the other deck as well. I feel like this is saying the divine is sending you so many angels. So 
if there are opportunities that feel right for you, take them. I feel like you guys are going to have so many options to choose from. This can be either in love or this can be in your career or just general fun in your life. So don't miss out on good opportunities because you're still haunted by your past. This says the breaking of the floor beneath your naked feet, the creaking of the walls as the cold kisses, kisses flesh. You're never really alone when in the company of hauntings within bone. Wow. So this deck is very poetic. Um, so anything here? Um, yeah, I, I just feel like this is saying don't spend too much time being haunted by the past. You guys being haunted by any mistakes that you feel you made. I feel like that season of you guys feeling like not not happy about where you were is coming to an end and the season of you guys being very hopeful and excited about your future and all the options and resources available to you the divine is wanting to shower you with just options and resources uh, wherever you want to improve your life like the tools are, are there for you or the people are there for you they're going to be coming in so this like haunted phase of your life is coming to an end and you guys are moving into that very hopeful, excited phase now. Okay, and then we have stag. This is kind of like the emperor here, premonition. So I feel like some of you guys might even be dreaming or feel getting like a very intuitive feeling about if you guys are looking for love, about someone who might be coming into your life um, to really offer a solid future with you. This could also be, if you guys aren't looking for love, this could mean someone coming in with a really cool job opportunity for you. And I feel like this is saying follow your hunches, follow your intuition about what's good for you, what's not so good for you, or your intuition about maybe showing up at a place at a certain time if it feels right and good to you, if it feels safe, right, and good to you. Okay. Um, here's a time to give rather than take new moon in Virgo. One more card from this deck. This could mean, um, maybe sharing some wisdom with others. Like another interpretation I got from this hierophant and like what you need to let go of is maybe there's like a lot of, you guys are holding on to a lot of knowledge that you could share with others that could really benefit others and benefit yourself as well. So it could be like win-win situation. Um, maybe you can get people like paid to teach something. This could be in person or this could be um, online, like through videos or whatever, or just virtually um, teaching some kind of lessons. I'm seeing you guys could be a really good teacher. So there's some knowledge that you need to let go of um, that could actually like benefit you monetarily and would greatly benefit whoever is your student or like, someone you're mentoring or coaching and expect powerful change new moon eclipse all right nice so I feel like you guys are going through a really beautiful transformation and change in your life right now I feel like you're really changing at your core I feel like you're changing like who you are as a person um, in terms of like who you want to be like who you want to show up as in this world how you want to act and I feel like you are being very much like congratulated for this from the divine and rewarded for it so this could even be maybe by the next eclipse the solar eclipse the next solar eclipse you guys could be feeling like your life is totally different and you're in a very happy place from where you are right now so yeah don't give up on what good is coming into your life all right, number three. I think that's all I have for you right here. So I'm going to go on to the next section of this reading, which is loving messages from deceased loved ones. So if you have someone who has passed on who you would like to hear from, you can keep watching here or you can choose another number, go to another timestamp if you would like. All right, number three, we're going to free flow just to see whatever comes through on who wants to bring a message to you. So my intention is for loved ones that you would like to hear from. So maybe if there's someone in particular you want to hear from to get a message from, have that person on your heart and mind. So only people you want to hear from that have passed on. What are their messages for you? Number three. First we have the chariot coming out. with the Knight of Pentacles. 
the hanged man. I feel like this person is saying, I will always be by your side. No matter what, no matter which way you choose to go, I'm going to be there with you. I'm going to be supporting you in spirit. I believe in you. Here's the king of cups and I will always love you. So, um, we could have a father figure, father, father figure, or a spouse, and particularly husband coming through here. And here's the four of wands, maybe someone that you've lived with, shared a home with, and the two of cups. Yeah, for many of you, I see this could be a love relationship, someone you were in a relationship with romantically. It doesn't have to be, but I feel like that's for most of you watching. So, this person is saying, like, you made me the happiest I, that I could have been in this lifetime and I can never repay you for all the happiness you brought me we had the best times together and I will always be carrying that in my heart never ever forgotten this love that I have for you will never fade away will never leave it's like a permanent love they're also saying they learned so many lessons because of you so the relationship that you guys had together was very enlightening did a lot for their soul a lot for their soul growth. We have reach out here, contact, exchange, touch, take the initiative to reach out. Well, that's beautiful because I feel like this is saying this person often is trying to reach out to you from um, the spiritual realms. And I feel um, even some of them might be uh, directing their energy to maybe lightly touch you when they feel like you need comforting, like they it kind of like giving you like an energetic hug or something. So maybe you guys have felt like gentle touching and it's felt like them. This could be a confirmation um, that that was them. Uh, they still you know really care for you and want and even though they don't have a physical body they're still trying to like be there for you physically they're wanting to help see you through this life and still be like a partner for you in this lifetime even though they can't be there physically right now okay and here is apple risk and reward Oops, I didn't mean to get from that deck. <laughs> okay, well, I guess that message was supposed to come out. Maybe apple is a special symbol. We also have a heart here. I'm going to clarify this. So I feel like they're saying that you guys might have gone through some hard, hard times, hard, <laughs> hard times together, but they were saying, I wouldn't change anything. If we, if we were going to do it all over again, I would do it again with you. And here's the star. Yeah, they feel like you guys are written in the stars together and they're like, I would not change a thing. Like, and I feel like they're saying you're perfect as you are. I feel they also want you to take some kind of risk to go after your dreams as well. They're like, don't give, if, even if I'm not here with you, don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on living a beautiful life. Okay, we got two cards coming out. And then we have the zebra, another black and white card. Um, perspective, prejudice, and experience. So maybe this person wore a lot of black, wore a lot of white, or like those are their two fa favorite colors to wear. Um, let's see here. Here's starfish, imagination, ritual, and cleansing. Okay. Anything here? Yeah, the star is coming out again here. This person just feels like you were the most special person in their life. In this lifetime, you were the most special person. And I feel like you guys just have this beautiful soul connection that is enduring. You guys could maybe also be from different races here as well. So let's see. Different cultures. Get my other deck. Or you guys could just be like very opposite in some way. And here's Capricorn. I use this person could be a Capricorn. Um, I feel like this person, if you if they left anything behind, like money or like some of their stuff, I feel like they want you to use it for your own dreams. They're like that nothing would make you happier, make me happier than if you would use either the money or the things I and or things I left you to to do what makes you happy. All right, what else do we have here? It is beautiful where I am. And we have, I am here helping you. Yeah, for sure. That was coming through very strong with the Knight of Pentacles. They're like, I am very happy and content with where I am spiritually with what my soul is experiencing. But I also am trying to experience as much as I can through the physical with you as well. 
And I am surrounded by loving animals. How cute. Okay, so uh, maybe you guys had a pet together and um, they have been able to spend time spiritually with that animal um, or they've just been, it just, I feel like they're very surprised and happy by just how truly heaven-like it is where they are because maybe they didn't really believe in a heavenly experience or just any kind of experience after death and um, they're like, wow, this really is when I thought of heaven, what heaven might be like, this is, it's like a storybook. It, it really is this way here and they, they like couldn't be happier. So I feel like there's a lot of pleasant surprise here, but they're still very, very concerned about you and maybe trying to help you materially in some way. And let's see here. Here's coins. Wow. Speaking of material help, um, I, I feel like this person maybe is really, if they did leave you money, it's like they're approving of how you're spending it or they want you to just spend it in whatever way makes you happy. They're like, it doesn't matter to me. Or this could also mean that they're trying to, behind the scenes, try to make some money magic happen for you to bring you some more financial opportunities somehow. They're like, I want to make sure that you're rewarded for any risks that you take in this lifetime. And then we have baby and house. Okay. And abundance is on the bottom of the deck. All right. So let's see here. I feel like this person really is very protective over you, has like a very gentle, nurturing love towards you as well. Even if this was like a romantic connection, I feel like there is just this um, desire to just hold you and take care of you and make sure that you're settled and secure. This person could also be helping you, um, like maybe finding a better place to live or um, making sure they could also be like guarding the house that you live in as well. Um, yeah, like kind of like this guard dog here. So for a few of you, this could be like your animal soulmate um, coming through here as well. And being like, I'm still protecting you. I'm still guarding the house. And I have to mention for a few of you that but this is always so sad. Like if you lost a baby, like that's, they're coming through here and just letting you know that they felt your love. They still feel your love 100%. Okay, so let me see any other messages here. Okay, we have the fool. I feel whoever this is coming through, they're like, we're going to do this again. We're going to have another life together again, we're, or we're just going to be together again. We will experience each other again. So don't worry about that. Okay. And then we have angel of belief. So I feel like this person, especially, I feel like they really want, I feel like they, they want you to just believe more in like the goodness of life and that life goes on. I feel they really are just wanting to be sure that you're happy and they really see that if you're able to maybe work on like work on your beliefs or something that you would feel more happy, more secure, more comfortable about the situation. So they, they might be trying to send you maybe people or stories or something that will help you to maybe believe more in life after death or that life goes on that you guys will be together again so I'm getting like they really want you to be like believe that we will be together again believe and know that we'll be together again that we'll have more lives together again that we can do this again if we want to Okay, here's the page of swords. I feel like they could also be encouraging you to read some books on life after death, people who've had near death experiences, if that appeals to you. Because sometimes that can do a lot to really bring peace to someone. There's also like books about lives between lives, life between lives. And there are a lot of um, good near death accounts on YouTube as well, like ex experiences. Okay, and here's indigo, improve your vision. So this could be a favorite color of this person. Um, 
I am seeing though that they have, again, they're just very happy and surprised by this new experience they're having. They're like, I've had this experience before. I just forgot it for a while while I came to earth and I'm really happy being back here. And, um, but I want you to be happy in the meantime while you are on earth. Okay. And here is planning and action. And with that risk and reward card, I feel like they're really encouraging you to make some plans, some solid plans for your future, something that you feel would mot motivate you to keep working toward, like working towards something that you've always wanted. And they're like, I'm there with you. Here's Treasure Island. So this is another card about like maybe gifts flowing in for you. So I really feel like this person is really trying to maybe pull some strings, pray for you somehow, um, bring more blessings to especially your home life with this four of wands, the house card. I feel like they're like, get ready because the, the next big thing is coming into your life. You know, our relationship was huge, but there are other beautiful things coming in for you here. Here's chop wood as well. So the planning and action chop wood, I feel like this is them saying, make preparations for your biggest dream to come true. Because they're behind the scenes helping with that. Okay, and then we have gratitude. You fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to you. So I feel like this person is um, really expressing their gratitude for everything you did for them as well. And I feel like that is how they're trying to pay you back for everything you did for them in this lifetime is by being like this faithful servant in spirit who is really an angelic presence in your life and is continuing to protect you and wanting to try to continue providing for you as well, bringing in beautiful opportunities for you. Um, yeah, I, I see this person really just making sure that you're going to have like material and financial security. You're going to be happy and safe where you are. They are guarding you, watching you, protecting you in spirit and always trying to reach out to you and let you know that they're still there. They're still thinking of you. They're still with you. Even if you guys had any differences, I feel like with these flowers here, they're like, you know, the differences are resolved. I've had a totally new perspective on everything. I've seen things from your side of, uh, I've, I just heard your side of the tracks as well. Um, so they've seen your side of the story. They, they get it. Um, they have this just totally new perspective here. And um, anything that was like painful or bothering them in this lifetime, they have cleanse their soul of it so they do feel new fresh and clean so they're saying you can do the same thing in this lifetime as well it's okay you can let go of all the baggage the negativity it will be okay we st our love will still remain we still have this connection and we can con choose to continue it all right number three i hope this helped you i hope this message was helpful to you in some way and i hope i see you again soon either on this channel or over on the zodiac reading channel playlists are linked below if you're interested thank you so much number three take care bye bye hello there number four thank you for being here those of you who chose the person of air it says the great mentalist on there nice with um the quartz point hope you guys are doing really well so Let's see what is going on with your person on your heart and mind. What is their hidden truth in this connection with you? First, we'll get some cards on their overall energy towards you, what they're feeling about you. And please do keep in mind this is a reading for many people at once, so just take what you feel is for you. Feel free to leave behind anything that feels wrong or off for you. It's likely a message for someone else, but hopefully most of the reading will resonate. And this is the dark wood tarot, by the way. So, number four. Number four's person. Where's their overall energy toward number four in this connection? We have a strength coming out first. Strength with the king of swords. First thing that comes out is you have really impressed this person greatly. I'm not surprised the king of swords is is coming out with the person of air card. So this person can be Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. And we have the chariot with the lovers with the fool. 
feel like one more card wanted to come out here. And we have the Two of Cups in reverse as well. All right, so let's get some Oracle cards for context. So just the first impression I'm getting is that you have, it's like you've tamed this person somehow. I feel like you've broken through maybe their mental shield that they have up. And I feel like you, it's almost like you broke them down and made them start really feeling love again. And here's happy ending, beautiful. Abundance, joy, fulfillment. You've achieved absolute happiness and fulfillment. So this person feels those fireworks with you for sure. This person feels extremely happy with you, extremely light and free. So we're gonna figure out what this two of cups in reverse is about. I feel like maybe for a long time they've been denying, uh, letting themselves have a true loving relationship. They've been like, nope, um, life is all about work and no play right now. And I feel like they're ready to allow like a deeper meaning into their life. Maybe this is something where you guys have parted ways or maybe both of you recently parted ways with someone else and you guys are experiencing something new together. All right, more cards here. We have the veil, the future. I feel like you have always remained a mystery to this person. I feel like that's something that really intrigues them and draws them into you is they're always fascinated by you, learning more about you. They feel you have a lot to teach them as well. And oh, I like this card. Here's a clockwork pumpkin, a wonderful idea, the aha moment. So yeah, I feel like this is their mind. Like you really make them like start churning through all the gears of their mind. Um, you make them, it's like you make their gears tick like in their mind. So I'm getting like, this is why it's like they want to keep you around because it's like you keep them on their toes mentally, especially. And I feel like that's, that's like the way to this person's heart is through their mind. You know, they say like the way to a man's heart is through his stomach or something like feeding them good food. And I feel like in this case, like a really good, interesting conversation is the way to this person's heart. Some like really big ideas that you guys discuss together. This person feels um, just endlessly interested in you. And here's cauldron, containment. And I was gonna say like endlessly like entertained by you as well. This is almost like rhyming with um, containment, entertainment, containment. So I'm getting like they feel very content and at home with you. Maybe they really do like your cooking as well or they like to share meals with you. This person might be a little uncertain about how the future will go with you. Maybe they aren't wanting to reveal their future plans, what they see for the future with you just yet. That might come up in their hidden truth, perhaps. But it looks like very much they're wanting to continue moving forward with this, with the chariot being in the middle and the lovers right next to it. So they really see you as their mental equal, someone who is very strong in mind and heart and I feel like that they know that that's the kind of person that they need to be with someone who is very just like mentally emotionally strong someone who can really handle anything I feel like that's the person they want to give their heart to and here is moon song dark night of the soul purging and releasing okay so this could be where both of you guys have maybe gone through a pretty dark period that could be what this two of cups in reverse is about maybe it, there was a breakup or some kind of separation between you two and I feel like they're ready for that new start with the fool here they're like I want to give this a chance I want to give this a chance we never got maybe or the other situation is if both of you guys went through a dark night with like other people and just needing to release that and I feel like now you both are like ready and fresh for this awesome connection between you two that you're so ready to explore. All right, so let's take a look at what is their hidden truth in this connection with you? What are they not saying? Okay, we have temperance. The two of pentacles. We have the Page of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles, wow. Okay, and then we have the Page of Wands with the Five of Cups. 
So the first thing coming out with temperance here in the two of pentacles, I'm feeling like they are not telling you that they see you in their life for the like indefinite future, just meaning like they don't see an end to this at all. Um, I feel like they are worried that they do have this independent streak to them. And I feel like there is a lot of worry here about maybe they haven't purged that just yet and I feel like there's a lot of fear about losing you or disappointing you in some way because maybe some kind of like um, selfish or immature streak still might come out of them. I do feel like overall this person's pretty mature um, and knows what they want in life but I feel like they still are kind of like taking their time and not wanting to rush into something let's see one more card wanted to come out here here's the ten of cups so I do see that this person very much wants happy, happy home, happy family life, wants like a happily ever after with you. They do see that with you, but they're like, I need to take my time in speaking about this, revealing this to number four. Or maybe they just don't tell you just how much is it's in their heart to want to have like a forever with you because this person is just so into like just talking about really like mental type things. They, they just like to be very mentally stimulated. So they don't often get too much into their emotions and talking about their emotions. They definitely have them. They have a heart. Um, it's something important to them, but I feel that they don't often address what's going on there. I feel like there could be a lot of fear around opening up. I do see that they could be really uh, weighing some options here in terms of like, should I go ahead and make an offer and tell number four what's on my mind, what's on my heart, or should I just kind of keep going with the flow and relaxing and just letting things uh, materialize over time? So they are debating on whether they should take some action, make an offer. Because they know that you're not going to wait forever necessarily. Okay, we have telephone, connection, communication, conversation, and we have spring. So this says within one to three months. So they might be telling you a little bit more of what's on their mind here, what's coming through these cards within one to three months or during the spring. And here is the gavel, conviction and decisions made. All right, so I do see them very much wanting to come to a decision. I, they might even have a time period in their head where they're like, let's just see how this goes for another one to three months or so, for example. And let's keep talking and communicating and see, making sure we're on the same page. Because so far, I feel like they really feel like things are working perfectly. You guys are on the same page, same wavelength together. And I feel then they're like, okay, after this time period has passed, after we've gone through maybe what they feel is like the honeymoon phase, you know, where everything's just perfect together. They want to make sure like the communication is still good between you two. If it remains good, maybe it could even be after you guys maybe have your first disagreement or argument or something. They want to make sure you guys are able to communicate through that and work through things together. And I feel like as soon as they see that you guys are going to be able to work well through all the difficulties of life or some of the difficulties of life, they're like, okay, case closed. I'm going to make my decision here. So I do feel that they could be keeping that from you um, because they, they want things to flow as naturally as possible. They don't want to make you nervous, um, like you're being judged or like tested or something because they, they really feel like you're going to pass this test, like any tests that they have or just to make sure like you guys get through things together. Here's I'm struggling. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. I, I feel like they could be struggling to... Um, struggling to maybe kind of keep hold of their emotions in a way because I feel like you really have them you really have their heart and they're like I want to just like spill the beans and I just want to like tell you how much I want this with you but they know that or they they've had experience where if they come across as like wanting something too much or looking desperate in some way that that could push someone away even a really good person it could possibly push them away so I feel like they are struggling to kind of contain themselves Perhaps there's some financial struggles going on here, but I, it's not coming through as strongly. 
and here's I'm going through a difficult time right now I'm healing my issues and slowly becoming the person you deserve I want to do this right that is why I'm taking my time so yeah I feel like they are taking their time because they want to do this right as opposed to someone who's just like stringing you along and just taking their time and just being ho-hum and apathetic and not making a decision they're they're making like a smart calculated decision here um, where they're like okay they're making a plan they like have a plan where they're like, I'm going to make a decision by this time. All right. Um, and this is splitting from the deck as well. I have a lot of insecurities that are holding me back from reaching out to you. I'm working on myself to become more confident. So this could be also someone maybe who's pretty shy. Who maybe you guys have a connection, but haven't been able to develop it as much for some of you. And here's, I know that we are destined to be together. That's why I'm coming back soon, or that's why I am opening up more soon, coming out with an offer. All right, so let's see if we can get some more details. Or actually, let's look at what's blocking them, if anything. Here's the Five of Wands. And here is anger and chains. Interesting. So there's some kind of frustration or anger. They could have some kind of issues that they're working through right now. I, I'm just getting like they don't want to repeat the past. They don't want to make the same mistakes. They could be very angry at themselves about something. Um, or they could just be feel like they could be feeling held back like they can't make a move right now for some reason. I feel like something else could be holding them back as well. Or just feeling like maybe they're not like secure enough. This could be a financial thing that they're they're struggling with. Um, and they just feel like maybe it's not the right time to make an offer, but it, but they're like, oh my gosh, if I don't make an offer soon, then I might lose number four because I know what a you know, great person number four is. So I really feel like there's, um, definitely a feeling of they, they do not want to lose you. Okay. Let's get some more details on anything else about this person and their hidden truth. Here's self-deception, blinders on, not wanting to see, with retrospect, missing them, memories, looking back. Yeah, for some of you with this two of cups reversed here, I'm feeling like um, this person could be noticing, maybe you had come into their life at one point and they didn't see what a good thing they had. Maybe you guys moved on. So that could be for some of you. That won't be for all of you necessarily. Um, if you guys didn't have a situation like this, this could be them maybe having learned from something in the past where they let good things get away from them and they're like, I'm not letting that happen again. Like I, I have a good opportunity here and I'm not about to let go of number four here. I don't want number four to just become a memory. And here is pinky promise, commitment, loyalty, unbreakable vow. So I feel like it is very much in their energy that they want to make a real connection with you. They want to have a forever connection with you have a commitment with you and here's I feel the same way I think we should slow down so maybe they feel like things have been rushing a bit so if they've been holding back I feel like that's just them trying to pace things it's not them trying to like turn away and not be in this relationship it's them wanting to just take things at a slower pace to make sure you guys are a, a good match um, because I do feel that they they have made the mistake of just going way too fast in the past um, and maybe if this is something where you guys were together in the past maybe they're like we need to do things right this time so let's slow down and make it right step by step I hope you'll wait for me and here's I need more time while wow, so much about time here okay so that's their big thing is like I feel like they have a time frame of when they're going to be ready to come forward and to maybe make a commitment here to take the to make the next move all right let's get a few more cards get some of these tea leaf cards I'm going to close my eyes and grab a few of these so we have February interesting so that is close to spring and wind chimes peace and harmony 
It's interesting because there's like wind on this card as well. And then we have vine. Seek out information that will help you. I feel like this person is so much wanting to do the right thing here that they could even be studying like what makes a good relationship, what makes a good marriage, because uh, they could be considering proposing marriage if you guys are already in a relationship with this person, just taking whatever the next step is in your relationship. So I just feel like this person wants to be sure that you guys can have a peaceful and harmonious life together. That's the most important thing for them. And so let's see, this February could also be interpreted as, let's see, that's about November, about four months from from now at the time I'm filming this video. So it's like one to four months I feel like this person is really feeling like they're gonna get a good read of this relationship and is going to feel very satisfied and confident in their ability to move forward with you. Okay. I do feel like this person's taking this very seriously. Okay, I'm gonna get three cards out of this bag as well. Here's thorns. Weathering the challenges ahead will bring in a new and positive future. So that is also confirming that I feel like this person might want to see how you guys um, are able to work through a challenge together. And here's the second house. It might have to do with money as well. Maybe they want to make sure you're on the same page with money or similar. And here is the divine feminine. So... Um, it could be something here where if you guys have like an imbalance in a money situation or something, they want to make sure that you're not going to have to like put in more money than they do. So I'm getting like, that could be a big thing that they want to, to work out with you is just to maybe discuss like how you guys are going to do finances together, whether you're going to like join them together or do things separately and like pay for things, um, like what you each will pay for that kind of thing. But I feel like they... They really want to do more for you because they, they just feel like you deserve so much from them. All right. So any advice for you in this connection, number four? Okay. We have the six of swords in reverse is showing up. So I feel like this is saying... Stay where you are, number four. If you're having fun here, if you're enjoying this here with this person... Stick around for a while. Let's see what else comes out here. And go slow. Wow. Okay. So yeah, don't don't move swiftly through this. Take your time with this person. Take time to get to know each other. No rush here. So as long as you feel like this person is making progress with you, I feel like things are all good here. They're listening to you. They're listening to your concerns. And here's calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So I feel like it could really help you as well to, um, you know, pray about this connection, ask for assistance if you feel that would be good for you. Like pray for the wisdom to make this connection work or pray for the discernment and wisdom to be sure if this is the right person for you. I feel like for many of you, this looks like a good, good option for you. As long as they don't just keep hang keep you hanging forever. I, I feel like it's coming from the waiting is coming from a good place of just like, we need to just see how this works first because I don't want to rush. I don't want to be irresponsible. So it's coming from a mature place. All right, let's get a few more message cards for you guys from this person. So I feel like this person really likes how you think. So it's like you really are their ideal candidate and I feel like they're they're just wanting to be sure that like they're like this isn't they want to be sure that this isn't too good to be true kind of thing. Cuz right now they they really feel like they're living in a dream. Here's I made a mistake. So this could be some of their mistakes in the past that maybe they want to open up about. And I regret what happened. Yeah, I feel like they might want to have some more serious conversations with you to tell you more of the stuff that they haven't opened up about just yet. It's like they want to slowly become more of an open book with you. But it's like you don't tell, you shouldn't really tell someone your whole life story <laughs> when you first meet them because that can kind of just drive someone right away right away so I feel like they're just trying to 
just tell you more about them bit by bit. And I feel like they want to keep learning about you that way as well. And here I wasn't ready. Yeah, some of you guys, this is a second chance, a second go at this. And they've seen where their mistakes are. I want to marry you one day. That was definitely coming through here, you guys. That this, this person can see a life with you for sure. And I was hiding how I was really feeling about you. I was keeping it a secret because I don't feel good enough for you. I'm loving you from afar. And I have serious anxiety about this separation. I'm afraid that I'm taking too long and you will move on. I don't want to lose you, but I'm not ready to come back either. I feel so confused. So that could be for those of you in separation with this person. I only want to be with you. I'm leaving a karmic situation behind or leaving some kind of um, difficult situation behind. My past still haunts me. I have inner child wounds that need to be healed first. I feel like this person has really worked through a lot of this because I just feel they, they want to move forward with you here with this chariot. And I want to have a family with you one day. Wow. So I want to marry you. I want to have a family with you. That very much strongly came through here as well. I feel where this person, I, I feel like they really do want everything with you. They really do see a magical, wonderful future with you. Um, let's see. We also have this purging and releasing card here. So I do feel like this is a confirmation that this person has really started to let go of a lot of their previous hangups around love. I feel like they're closer than ever to being ready to be like, making that decision of like, yes, I want to fully allow love into my life. I want to fully allow this beautiful partner into my life. And this was coming off the top of the deck. You are always on my mind. I think that's a good card to end this reading with because uh, we have this great mentalist person of air right here. So yeah, you, you keep this, this person's mind ticking. Um, I feel like that's how they know that they want to spend their life with you because they're like, you know, looks fade, but um, we're always going to have like that really cool connection beyond just the physical. All right. So number four, that's all I have for you right here. So I'm now going to go into the special Halloween reading where we'll, we'll do a little look at some advice for you and just whatever wants to come through. Um, so if you are interested in that, go ahead and keep watching here or choose another timestamp if you would like. And, um, if you're leaving now, I hope I see you soon on another video. There's playlists linked below if you would like one, um, like another video before, uh, the new one comes out. All right. Thank you so much. Number four. All right. Number four. So let's do this little Halloween spread for you. This reading is timeless though. So good for whenever you're finding it. All right, so the first card is going to be your costume. Who do you really want to be deep down? What desire wants to be expressed? We have the Ace of Candles or Wands coming out first. So I see that maybe a lot of you guys could be maybe kind of shy or quiet or on the shy or quiet side. And I see that you guys have a desire within you to really want to be seen, to be heard, to be really just, I heard smoking hot, just really admired and maybe really expressive. I see you guys maybe really wanting to be some kind of like singer or some kind of performer as well, actor. Oh, this card, two cards want to come out here. Um, four of candles or wands and the 10 of pumpkins or pentacles. I also see that you guys maybe desire to be someone who lives in a large house, um, someone who has maybe a large family or just someone who is able to be very, very financially secure and maybe uh, making your money through your creative talents. Some of you guys might want to be an entrepreneur as well. Okay, so let's see. Then we have trick, treat, trick or treat. Okay, so your trick... What has you fooled or what is tricky for you right now? We have the Knight of Lightning or Knight of Swords. So I feel like there could be some really maybe flashy people in your life who they really look like they have their stuff together. They have all their crap together. But in reality, they might be kind of messy or just like falling apart behind the scenes. They're not as put together as 
you would think as they let on. So maybe, especially on social media, I feel like this keeps coming through today, that there could be a lot of people on social media that make it look like their life is all good and in order and they know exactly what they want and they're going after it, but they truly don't on the inside. They're not moving down a happy path for them. So some of you guys might, might be feeling like, oh, I should go on their path, follow what they're doing, um, but that wouldn't necessarily make you happy either. Okay, treat. Where is the gift? What gift is coming into your life? Okay, we have the seven of candles or wands. I'm getting like a break or a break from having to fight so hard, from having to work so hard, from having to defend yourself. I feel maybe some solid backup and support is coming into your life for you, but especially some rest from maybe having to fight really hard and be in survival mode for a while. A break from that is coming in and feeling like you have some more support and that people have your back. Okay, so these cards are wanting to come out as well, so we'll take these for the gift. And then we have the lovers. So this could be a truly supportive love relationship coming into your life. Or if you are already in one, this could mean maybe uh, your partner will be stepping up more to support you, doing more for you. Here's the Hierophant. So yeah, I'm seeing like you guys could be really experiencing um, a leveling up in your marriage. If you're married, have a partnership, or this could mean a potential marriage match coming in for you. And you're going to be feeling like, wow, I can finally relax and let my guard down. I have like this true equal, this partner to go through life with. Okay. And then we have sour and sweet. So sour, what are you holding on to that would help you to let go of? Okay. We have the high priestess. So maybe you guys have some kind of idea on how your life is supposed to go. And you just feel like, like it's almost like divinely ordained that you need to do this certain thing but you feel like it's really not making you happy so I feel like this could be saying to maybe reconsider where you're where you're going with your life right now reconsider maybe what yeah what what path would be the best for you because I feel like your divinely ordained path will not be unhappy will not be an unhappy one this could also refer to a person in your life. Maybe there's someone that you're taking advice from or looking up to that's not truly helping you. So that might be something to let go of. Possibly even maybe letting go of tarot readings if you feel like they're not helping you anymore. Okay, and sweet. What can you embrace more of, do more of to make you happier? Okay, we have the king of potions or cups. So spending more time with a loving person in your life. This could be your partner. So like boyfriend, husband, girlfriend, wife, or this could even be a like a father figure if you have a good relationship with them. One more card. And we have transformation. Okay, so yeah, I feel like embracing some kind of change around the people you let into your life. I feel like that that would really help sweeten up your life, allowing more sweet people into your life, letting go of some of the sour ones. You guys just need some more sweetness in your life in general, I feel. And King of Pumpkins, King of Pentacles coming through. So I do feel like there are a lot of people in your life who really want to help you out and want to help take care of you or people who want to come into your life. So I, I feel like you, if you guys work on receiving a little bit more of that help, that would really help brighten up your life. Okay, let's just get some oracle cards now on any other advice, anything else you need to hear. Number four, get this Halloween oracle. So we have vampire emotional intelligence. And here's immortal, the consuming family pressure of peers. So I feel like you guys are really starting to learn maybe who is draining your energy, what is draining your energy, like getting a really smart perspective. You're like, you're able to start seeing, seeing very clearly um, who and what is good for you and who is not so great, who is really draining your energy. So let's see the pressure of peers. Yeah, I, I feel like with this Knight of Swords here where it was like, I, you, guys, you guys might be feeling a lot of peer pressure to be like doing, maybe not like directly, but maybe doing things that people of your age range are doing right now. 
but you know that it won't make you happy. And so there could be a lot of pressure for you to do those things, but you're like, no, I don't want that for my life right now. So I feel like this card is saying like your life is yours and yours alone. You don't have to do what others think you should be doing if you feel like it's just really not right for you, if it's not a good thing for you. Maybe take take a break from uh, maybe social media or people who are really just giving you too many of their opinions. Because I feel like when this vampire card comes up, this is saying like you guys are really maybe so nice to everyone. You don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. And that's like a really nice thing to have, but you can't do that at the expense of your own happiness. Because it's only going to just drain you more and more. And you guys um, deserve to have all of that. To, to have a refreshed life force. Okay, no one's entitled to your life force. And then we have Scarecrow. Um, remember that you are not alone. Move with confidence as you are guided. There is support available for you. There are people in your life who do not want to drain you, who really do want to help support you. You can also pray for them to come in if you feel like you don't have that support. Okay, and then we have intuition here. You hold the answers. You know the truths. Ancient ones await behind the doors of the mind. So maybe with this high priestess here, this could even mean that there are some things your intuition is trying to tell you and you've been ignoring that. So you might want to spend a little more time with yourself, um, maybe in silence for a little bit to get some clues from your intuition. What is your intuition trying to tell you? And you don't necessarily have to sit and meditate. You could even be like doing drawing or painting or some kind of other meditative activity or you could be journaling like a really good way that your intuition can come through is by journaling or just like free writing okay and here is the b community yeah i feel like there is there are all these new friends who want to come in and who run it want to really help you you guys aren't meant to have to do it all alone And we have don't let your past hold you back, South Node. So you are free to become a new person. You're free to play a new role. You don't have to keep doing the same thing that's always expected of you. Um, sometimes maybe we play a role because our family wants us to be a certain way, but even when we don't really owe anything to our family anymore, like we've moved on with our life, um, we can still be stuck in some of those patterns. And um, I feel like the universe, God, is really trying to support you into stepping into your destiny, into not letting others hold you back, not letting your past hold you back, not letting anything draining you, holding you back. Um, oftentimes when you feel like a situation or person is draining you, that can mean that you need less of that in your life. That's your intuition speaking to you, saying that you need less of that or you at least need a break from it because you need to be able to recharge a break from that person or that thing. Okay, um, I think that's all I have for you here, number four. So I'm going to move on to the next section of the reading, which is loving messages from deceased loved ones. So you can keep watching here uh, if you want, if you feel drawn to, or you can choose another timestamp if you would like. Okay, number four. So this is loving messages from deceased loved ones. So this is from anyone um, who has passed on that you would like to hear from maybe a specific person that you have on your heart and mind right now let's just see whatever wants to come through here so number fours loved ones that have passed on what messages want to come through for number four we have the hierophant The Five of Cups. The Nine of Wands. I feel like the first thing coming through is this person wishes they either weren't too hard on you or they weren't as hard on themselves in life. They're like, I wish I would have been easier on myself or easier on you or both of us. Because life is meant to be enjoyed. Here's the Five of Pentacles. So yeah, I feel like this person does miss, um, like they either miss their earthly life with you or they, they regret doing not doing something a certain way. And here's the Queen of Swords. And I feel like they really want to let you know that they have 
really been able to see things clearly now. Um, they, they seen like where some of their failings were and where they wish they could have done things better. So, um, I feel like this might have been a relation, like a loving relationship, but one that was like rocky at times. Um, for some of you, this could be like a mother figure here, some kind of female figure. It doesn't have to be for sure, but that's kind of more what's coming through or someone who was like a teacher to you in some way. So it does feel like kind of like a parent thing coming through here. Parent or grandparent. Okay. Oh, we got two cards here. So then we have the fox, curiosity, miracles, invisibility. I feel like this person is very, still very much interested in your life and seeing you succeed. Okay. And then we have elephant, memory, lessons, and intelligence, which is interesting. I was just looking at this card and getting the message that they really have learned some lessons from this new perspective that they have now. And I feel that they are like, I am never going to forget everything I learned in my relationship with you. I will never forget you. You mean so much to me. Um, I, I wish I could have done more for you. So I do feel like there, there's like some regret here that this person wasn't able to maybe provide more for you in some way or just give you more opportunities. I feel like they're congratulating you on maybe how far you've gotten in life. They're like, you know, I tried to teach you, but really you're the one who really taught me everything. You're smarter than me is kind of what they're saying here. Okay. And then we have Pluto transformation. Wow. So this is a powerful card here. Um, I am getting a lot of you. This could be like a, a grandmother even. So this person is saying that um, I truly have like transformed my point, point of view um, through this transition, through transitioning into the spirit realm, transitioning out of the physical. I've truly, truly learned some lessons here. Okay, let's see. And this could also be Scorpio. They could be Scorpio. Um, I have no more earthly worries. Maybe this person struggled with money a lot in their life or they just worried a lot. So this is something that they're very happy about that now they feel like they're able to have this more playful side of them come out now. Like their spirit is very light and playful. Maybe um, in their earthly life, they were very serious. They might've been very religious as well. And I am so much better now. Um, so yeah, I feel like they're saying, you know, if they had health struggles, they might have battled with something for a long time and they're like, it's all good now. You don't have to worry about that. I'm happier where I am now rather than you know, having to suffer and struggle. And it was my time to go. Yeah, many of you, I feel like this is someone a good bit older than you. And here's believe in yourself. You can do it. So I'm, I'm getting like this person still like a cheerleader for, for you from the other side. All right. They're like, I'm always going to want to see you succeed. Okay. And then we have meditation. I feel like um, you're, you're able to communicate to this person through meditation. Maybe you guys have been trying to do that. Here's epiphany. And angel. Um, I'm getting like this person, like after, according to like hypnosis accounts, near death experiences, I, I feel, I've heard that like once you pass on, you kind of like try to learn how to be in the spirit realm again and you learn some skills. And I feel like one skill that this person is learning is maybe how to make more contact with you and to bring blessings into your life, to be like an angel in your life. So maybe you guys have even had some like miracles or just where you thought it was like angelic signs or angelic help. Um, that could be this person in spirit trying to help you, trying to bless your life. Um, I feel like they're saying I've done a lot of time on healing um, my energy body, healing my soul from, from the struggles, from the difficulties of this life. So whether this was a difficult relationship with you or not, I feel like this person did have a lot of struggles in their life. And they're saying like, I'm at peace now and it's all good. And I took so many lessons with me. So my soul like really advanced from this lifetime. Okay. And then we have angel of imagination. 
So interesting with the meditation here and imagination, I feel like this person really is um, trying to meet, meet you in the imaginal realms. They could be really trying to show up in your dreams as well. Maybe you guys have had some dream meetings with this person. And um, that's another thing from like hypnotic accounts or near death accounts is that um, like people who have passed over has, they've really been able to like work on or get like help from spirit guides on being able to come into a dream and have like an actual dream meeting. So if it feels like real and at peace, that usually is a, an actual meeting with that person on the other side. And here is Coral. Allow flow and synchronicity into your life. Number 18 on this card. Let's see what other numbers do we have. This one's 17. These could be significant numbers. And we have 11. And then we have 2, 13, and 22. Just want to call those out in case those are significant to anyone. So this Coral card. Allow flow and synchronicity into your life. So I feel like they, they're like... I hope you don't have to learn the same les or lesson that I did or just take lessons from my life. They want you to look at their life and not have to go through the same struggles that they did. They don't want you to have to experience that at all. They, they're like, just learn from me and don't do what I did or you know, take a different path than I did and your life will be a lot better. I feel like one thing they want to encourage you to do is connect to the divine more often, connect to the heavenly realms and allow heavenly help into your life because they're like my struggles would have been I, I was shown in my life review that if I would have connected more to the divine some of my struggles would have been a lot easier or not existent they're not saying their their life would have been without struggle but they're saying it wouldn't have been quite as bad so don't make the same mistake that I did in that way call on help more often because there are angels there to help you and here's your higher self Okay, your higher self. Let's see what else comes through. Um, the fall could be a significant season here. Like September, October, November. And blessed. I feel like this person's very proud of you for maybe all the advancements you've made in life for really trying to tune in to your plan here for this life where your soul's calling and higher purpose. So they're like, because of that, your life is going to be very blessed. And I feel like this is saying that they feel very blessed to have had this life with you. And they're going to continue to do what they can to bless you from the other side. Interesting, we have your higher self and a higher power on the bottom of the deck. So again, the big encouragement is to stay connected to a higher power Maybe something about, like, if they were religious, um, maybe their religion, it kind of, like, put you off for a while, connecting to the, the divine, and they're like, you don't have to connect through that religion. Anyone can connect. Like, you have it within yourself to connect. You can connect to the realm that I'm in. And here is present. You live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances. So they're really encouraging you that you're going to be able to change some difficult circumstances for yourself. I feel even just having this awareness will help start shifting things into your life. They just want you to have an easier life than they did. They want you to just have more fun in life as well. And again, they're like, just don't make the same mistakes I did. And I'm okay. I'm so much better now is what what they're really saying and I just love this I have no more earthly worries so they're like don't worry about me just focus on yourself focus on making your life better you can connect to me anytime that you want to call on me in your dreams and I will be there okay I hope this helped you number four and I hope I see you again very soon either on an upcoming video on this channel or one of the ones from the past. There are playlists linked in the description. Deck should be listed in the description as well. And I want to thank you so much again. Take care, number four. Bye-bye.